This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Nick told me to. Yeah. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Baby making music. Dangle clacks, dangle clacks. What was that dangle clack? Oh man. Okay, well, look, we got a dangle clack right out of the gate. That's fine. Wasn't expecting that to happen, but hello and welcome, everybody. <clears throat> There it is. Now we can start. Oh, hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome and hello. Today's Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. I got a full-on action-packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. This vlog almost didn't happen. I was feeling a little bit sick, you know, on Tuesday. Anybody that caught the build stream, I was a little under the weather, picked up a little crud somewhere along the way. I don't know exactly what happened. Wednesday, I was feeling still pretty cruddy, but we still played Zelda. You know, we still played Zelda. And now here we are on Thursday. I'm feeling much better. There might be a, the occasional like <laughs> sniffle here and there, but I'm feeling much better. I Christmased out my office because this is the second to last vlog of the year. You guys, I appreciate you being here. Tyler B, I see you there in the chat. Spike Lestrange finally made it to a live stream. Hell yeah. Appreciate you being here. Legion Vapes is here. Ronnie's here. Delia's here. Tyler's here. J Money Landshark is here. The real Slapper Saurus is here. Yeah. Uh, Kent's gone. Kent's gone, but, uh, but, but not forgotten. It's just a really super random story of how Kent showed up in my office. Um, he, he, he texted me. Just, I don't even remember what day this was, way last week, maybe even two weeks ago. And he said, hey, can I stay at your house tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, what do you mean? Like, I was so confused. He drove from Kansas to Fresno to visit his family. And he stopped at Dwayne's along the way. And then he stopped at my place along the way. And then he went to go visit his family in Fresno. And I thought, oh, that's so cool. Like, I never get to see my my long distance friends like Kent or them, you know, around the holidays and stuff like that. So it's just real cool to see him. He was only in town for like 24 hours. And we just hung out and goofed off. He helped me put up Christmas lights. Like, we just hung out. And then we came in here. I said, I need you to sit in front of my camera for five minutes. Yo, yo, a Duchess Coils. Don't worry, Duchess Coils. We'll be talking about Metallica a little bit later on. But uh, here we are. Let's vlog. Let's get into this. I've got a, a Murphy dog nestled underneath my desk. He just jams his body underneath there. And I accidentally sometimes like step on his leg. So I'm trying to be extra careful of my dog underneath the uh, under the cat under the desk right here. Here's a real quick rundown. Here's what's going on tonight, you guys. Uh, first things first. Okay, let me get to that in a second. Uh, of course, we're going to do beer. I got a great beer picked out tonight. Uh, of course, I'm going to do what I've been vaping. Of course, we're going to do what you've been vaping. I do have some news and advocacy because the world is just a chaos sphere right now. So, of course, we're going to talk about some news. Uh, we are going to talk about some music as well in honor of Duchess Coils being here. We might talk about some Metlica, but we'll see when we get there. I do have a whole mess of mail as well. We're also going to try to sneak in a retro vaping and a liquid tasting. The Jawbreaker liquid is back. And I'm not saying that's how I want anybody to vote because you should vote your hopes. <laughs> but I really want to try that Jawbreaker liquid. That's 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 bonkers. Let's um, Let's have some hydration real quick just because... I'm hydrated. Let's fit. Where'd Phil go? Where are you at, Phil? Let's hydrate with Phil real quick. Mm. It's good, Phil. It's good.
I think there was uh, some echo going on right there. Some echo, but uh, I had to get hydrated. I don't know why that first little talking really took it out of me. But let's get hydrated. Let's settle in. Let's settle in for a nice little vlog here. The first thing I wanted to sh Have you guys seen this product? I'm not... I, I was de debating, like, on whether or not I was going to, like, talk about this product or, or, or not... I think I am going to talk about it and poke a little bit fun. Has anybody seen this product right here called FUM? FUM? F-U-M with the umlauts? It's, I believe it's supposed to be like a quit smoking thing, but they dance around the subject of like what this product actually is. On the website, they say, look at that, no vapor, no nicotine, just natural plants just natural plants. Okay. Whatever works for you. Here's the thing. I'm not going to gatekeep anybody that wants to quit smoking in any way that, that you feel would help you quit smoking. You know, I want everybody to use every tool that you have available to you. With that said, there are really effective ways to go about this process. And then there are really ineffective ways to go about this process. And for some reason, I just get the vibe <laughs> that this is one of those people are going to spend a hundred plus dollars on this and use it for 18 seconds and then just never use it again. It's nothing. It's just a tube. Okay. It's literally just a tube with flavor cores, maple pepper, white cranberry, crisp mint, it might not be vegan. I mean, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's vegan. Oh, no, nope. YouTube's going to get mad if I have a web address up there. Now I'm going to have to fucking edit that out. A zesty mix of fruity cranberry and hints of cinnamon and spruce. The warnings don't come until you click on it. And so I, I, evidently what this is is a quit smoking aid, although they don't say that anywhere on the site. They just use the term habit, right? The testimonials, the testimonials are all saying things like, well, I had a bad habit, but they don't ever say smoking or tobacco or anything like that. They just say, oh, I had a bad habit and this stopped that habit. And then they have these big caution, not all essential oils are safe for pregnancy, children, or to be mixed with medications. Please consult a doctor before using our weird white cranberry essential oil foam stick. This blend contains black pepper essential oil, ksenia essential oil, black spruce essential oil, cinnamon essential oil. You know, one of my heroes who's long since passed, James Randi, he would have called this woo-woo shit. I can't, I can't come to any other conclusion other than this is woo-woo shit. Inhaling essential oils, which you'd never need to do ever in your life. You, you just don't need to do that. <laughs> you, you, just not, you just don't need to do that. Fum. I won't be linking to anywhere in that, but Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all my social medias are advertising me this fum. This, this fum thing. And I just chuckle every single time. And I think, why, why would anybody use that? That just seems so crazy to me. When there are a, literally a multitude of different ways. Anyway, look, again, I said, I'm not going to gatekeep. If you want to quit smoking with a fum, I, I hope it works for you. I hope it works for you. Woo woo shit. You know. <laughs> woo woo shit. Like a Yuri Geller with a spoon bender. Anybody remember Yuri Geller, the spoon bender, who would rub a spoon like this? This was in the 80s. And he would rub a spoon, and it would slowly start bending. And he's like, I'm doing it with my mind. And James Randi's like, okay, why don't you use this spoon? And he goes, mm, that one won't work. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. James Randi used to go around uh, debunking psychic healers and, and like talking to the dead. And he called it woo-woo shit. Instantly, I just was like, "Woo woo!" Okay, that's some uh, that's some hot woo woo shit action. Uh, well, now that we're past that, even though we just hydrated, about to say that I'm
<laughs> Fum, you know, I don't know. Sure, use it. To hear to her, yeah, to hear to her loves it. He'll be all over that. Look, there's no, uh, there's no nicotine in it. There's no, I mean, it, they don't age check. I'm assuming that any, any, any buddy of any age could pick up a foom bar and start inhaling paper me, pe, pepper maple essential oils. That seems like a terrible idea. But again, I'm not going to gatekeep how you quit smoking. Let's drink a beer. Speaking of beer, <laughs> beer causes like a dozen different cancers inside your body. Uh, the beer we have tonight, I'm just going to read this note. This beer came to us tonight via Facemeat. I haven't seen him here in the chat tonight, but a dry oatmeal to you, Mr. Facemeat. Uh, but he he left a note on this beer that said, Nick, if I could have just one beer for the rest of my life, it would be this one. For the rest of his life. It would be this one. It's simultaneously rich and refreshing. It's only on shelves from mid-August through October. Fall has always been the time of year that I look most forward to. I love Halloween, the crisp evening air, and this beer. Just felt right. It just felt right to drink this beer tonight. I've been saving it in my fridge for like that, that crispy evening. And it is a crispy evening here in, the, in, in old Los Angeles. I got the office all decorated for christmas feeling super festive is the rotating tree bothering anybody does it is the rotating tree bothering anybody because tough because it's christmas decorations and i love it i'm never gonna take them down christmas forever okay that's not true that's not true and you know it um trying to find my bottle opener that used to be here what the hell? Here, oh, yeah, 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 come on. It's, it's, it's the Matt Sinister bottle opener. I, I am not going to misplace the Matt Sinister bottle opener. Um, I also want to draw attention to some Smack and Nude Zack action right here. Denmark, uh, the Netherlands, they're, they're banning flavors, and you need to go to smackandnudezack.nl if you're in the area and you care and you care about flavors, you go to smackandnudezack.nl. There's lots of things that can be done. There's things to fill out. There's things to send to elected officials. This is the beer. I know I just read the note, but this is a uh, German beer. Uh, Anger. Ang I can't pronounce it. Anger. This is the Oktoberfest Marzen. He says it's rich and creamy and refreshing. Let's go ahead and pour. Uh, it's just going into a, uh, you know, dirty glass. A dirty, that's a little bit too dirty. I'm, I'm going to rinse this glass real fast because that's gross. There's dirty. Okay. Hi, Murphy. What you doing, Murphy? If I, if I leave my office, Murphy leaves the office with me, and when I come back into the office, he'll, he'll follow me right back in here. So now let's pour out of a freshly rinsed cup <laughs> into a, a freshly rinsed cup, uh, just a tulip-style glass. Pouring. Oh, it looks delicious. Doesn't that already look good? I like that humans like alcohol. Like, alcohol is basically poison. It has no redeeming qualities. It's not good for your body in any way. It causes dozens of different types of cancers. It causes liver cancer, rectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, oral cancer. It has no redeeming qualities. It only intoxicates. That's it. But we do it anyway. We do it anyway. We go, nope, I'm, it's worth it. I'm going to drink this beer knowing that uh, it causes cancer. Alcohol is a carcinogen. So here, cheers to a frosty cup of carcinogens, you guys. Oh, wow, that is really good, dude. Wow, that's really good. I can see why this is like your favorite beer of all time. Because that is uh, crazy good. That It's exactly like you described. It's, it's rich, it's creamy, but it's really also very refreshing. It's got a really nice, like, light mouthfeel to it, really clean finish, but the flavor, really very pungent. It's like, uh, I want to say it tastes like sweet cereal, 
which I know is, might throw people off, but it kind of does taste like sweet cereal, like Lucky Charms milk without any marshmallows in it. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Really creamy, upfront sweetness, clean finish. Holy crap, that's good. Um, I'm just going to pair it with some tobacco. I've got some uh, Baby Come Back, Sifu Mustache. Let's just pair this up. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, good. Honestly, the tobacco might be a little bit strong. It might be a little bit strong. I don't have anything else. I don't really think I have anything else. Lemon's Hope. Maybe some lemon lemon flavor with this. Yeah, that actually pairs better. That actually pairs better than the tobacco did. Uh, yeah, okay. This beer is good. This beer is just good. Next October, face meet. I need to track some of this down. Authentic Bavarian Festival Lager. It's dangerous. Like, it's it's so good. I could drink, like, six of them right now, I feel. If I had a custard, I wish I had a custard. I have no custards. It, it's tobacco or it's guava right now or mango. That's, like, the three flavors that I vape. Tobacco, guava, mango. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> maybe pistachio. Maybe pistachio. I don't have any pumpkin. I don't have any pumpkin spooge set up. Can't recommend this enough. Holy crap. If you like delicious poison that causes all sorts of cancer in your body but is completely legal, this beer, I, I, I highly recommend it. Whoa, that's good. Whoa, that's good. Thank you, Face Me. Damn, I very, uh, very much appreciate that. We got some good beer happening tonight. All right, real quick. I have a bunch of stuff on my desk, you know, not too much. But as far as things I've actually been vaping, we're going to pull two pods out. Vapresso. Who saw Vapresso killing the pod game suddenly? But it's the Lux XR and it's the Cross 3 with the updated pods. Oh, shut up. These are good. Good pods. Hope to have a pod rank soon. Still heavily using the uh, Mission uh, 15 Astro because why would I not? Because it's the Astro and I love it. Ether bridge on the inside just looks really cool. I like seeing the front and back. I like seeing my liquid right there. It, that really does it for me. Again, same guava 12 milligram mouth to lung. Good. Rocking good. This, we already saw. It's the Limelight Wicket. The Jason RBA is on the inside. Did a build stream for this not too long ago. That tobacco's on the inside. Still going strong. Nope. Sorry, Murphy. Don't dig through my trash. I still love your face, though. Just don't dig through my trash, please. What a great boro. What a great drip tip, courtesy of the Tribal Buddha. Uh, like I said, Sifu's tobacco is on the inside. Mix Typhon GT4S. This is a this is a setup I've been keeping around for a really long time. Oh, my battery's dying. The GT4S is just a good RTA. There's literally no way around it. This thing, I, I'm really surprised by how much I've been liking this. It's just a, a, a single 18650 Geek Vape. It's like the E100 kit or something. It uses the P-Series coil heads. Loving this thing. Really good vape, really good flavor. The tank isn't aluminum. It's magnetic, but the top feels like stainless. Like it, it just feels like a like a high quality kit. Um, another thing I've been really vaping. I can show you the back of it. I guess these days, since we're getting closer and closer to the release of it. What? That's right. It's a squonker. I can't show you any else of it. And uh, there's an Alexa RDA on top. Oh uh, yeah. 
Give it to me. Lunar Sweet Mango on the inside. Um, now for my Christmas setups. These are from the build stream on Tuesday. It's the Cubic 60 with the Christmas tree drip tip. Mob 2 on the inside and mouth to lung. No leaking. For anybody that was on the Tuesday build stream, this thing was leaking like a sieve. And now it's clean. It's, it's, it's stayed... Uh, it stayed ungurgly and it stayed unleaky and the flavor exponentially better on the mob two. I got to drop my coils way down to get that good flavor. Mm. Damn, damn hell ass good. The last Christmas setup. This is the same Christmas setup I had last year. It's the green billet box Herald with my candy striped, uh, my peppermint candy striped panels from Susco. That's an old school dot mod drip tip turned backwards so you don't have to see the logo because fuck dot mod. What's on the inside, you ask? I'll tell you. It's the Boxer RBA. We did this on Tuesday. We put mesh in it. It's wicking like a champion. Six milligram mango in here. The feel of a billet box and like the Christmas billet box is really doing it for me. I love the Christmas billet. Love it. I love that. That's staying nearby. We're going to go, we're going to reach for that one fairly often. Let's try mango with the beer. Why not? Hey, that's not very good. Murphy. Come here. What you doing? Lay down. What you doing? You want something to chew on? I'm all alone. Uh, my, my wife, Casey, is cross country uh, in New Jersey helping take care of her dad. Her dad just had uh, a big open heart surgery on the same exact day that my dad had his surgery. So we were split up. I was in NorCal. She was in Jersey. I came home. She's still in Jersey. So it's just me and the dogs. It's a little bit of a struggle. I'm not going to lie. I'm having a rough time. <laughs> having a little bit of a rough go, just me and the dogs. But we, we have a pretty good system now. It's just a matter of keeping Murphy uh, entertained because he's got big puppy energy. And so he will just bark at me. And it's like, nope, it's time to play right now. I'm like, come on, buddy. So if he barks, then we might have to take a play break. Who, who really knows? It's just that's, that's the wild card. Murphy's the wild card. <laughs> Murphy's the wild card of the whole stream. Um... Now, real quickly, I had a few things that you guys have been vaping. America, this is you. Hashtag assignment planet globe, hot planet globe action. First things first, Mike, Mike N, Mike N sent in his collection. Mike N says, uh, hey, my name's Mike. Uh, we actually got to meet at Vapor USA in Clarksville, Tennessee a few years ago. That means we may have watched a death metal band in the parking lot together, and that, that goes a long way with me. Anyways, I want to share you what I've been vaping lately. Some older, newer setups. I got my Chaos with the Lost Vape tank. Old Chaos. Look at that old Segeli Chaos. Lost Vape Orion. Cherry Bomber. Mike is rocking a freaking Cherry Bomber with a Freak Show RDA. The Humvee with the Blotto Mini, the Asvape Michael paired with the Kennedy 24. Oh, oh, sorry about that. That was gross. Lost Vape Thelema Quest with the Smock Beast King. Madrag with some RDA I can't remember the name of. Yeah, it looks like a... What was that called? The the re the the, the re, re, relapse, relapse RDA something like that. I can't quite remember. Aegis Nano, uh, and an Enjoy Pod and a Pulse AO, and finally one that I use very rarely: my Vamo with an Orchid tank. That's that monster standing in the background. <laughs> The Vamo with an orchid tank clearly have seen some better days. Side note, that drag had several signatures on the door. However, I refuse to stop using it, so therefore the name's rubbed off. Anyway, that's pretty much it. My daily banger is the Thelema smock combo and the drag recoil combo along with the Aegis Nano. I've been smoke-free since 2015, somewhere around September, su September, October. I do not remember the exact date. Hell yeah, Mike. Keep all those vapes going. Keep that Vamo going. If you have a Vamo still currently in your rotation, I need to know about it. You need to tell me about it and take a picture of it and send it to me because I need I need evidence that people are using the Vamo. Mary, Mary sent in her vapes. Uh, she just says Mary N. By the way, she just says this is my vape gear and my DIY e liquid. It's a Scar Mini, the Drag X with the Ages Hero. Thanks for all you do. 
Vape for life. Thanks for all you do, Vape for Life. Hell yeah, Mary. I, I like it. I'm here for it. I like that you have your essentials and your DIY e-liquid. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I do this is so we can see how other people vape. I, I know how I vape. I know how my wife vapes. I kind of know how my brother vapes. But everybody just vapes so differently that you never know what's going to hit and what someone's going to love or what liquid they're going to love. And if you see a liquid that you love and you might try it, you know, I think this is a... Uh, this is one of my favorite parts. This is one of my favorite parts of the stream. Okay, we got like two more. Patrick B. Patrick B. Is this Patrick B. Or do I know you as Plebsy over there on the yo yo? -Yoy. Shout out to you, yo yo. -Yoy. <laughs> he sent this in. Waiting on my pulse AIO. I got impatient and needed to build my new Voltro. <laughs> he did a. Uh, Five 30 gauge cores with 36 gauge aliens over it. Wow, made by my buddy, uh, Mr. Man, uh, who's a fan of yours, still trying to get him to join the Cool Kids Club. Dude, Plebsy, keep working on him. He actually, he absolutely should join the Cool Kids Club because it's hella fun. But I, I love this. I did the same thing. I put the Voltrove on a device and just vaped it. Look, if it looks dumb and it works, it's not dumb. It's not dumb. Okay, last one here. Uh, Assignment Planet Globe. Brenna, I believe this name is pronounced Brenna, but I'm not 100% sure. Coming all the way from Germany. Here are my favorite setups at the moment. The, uh, okay, I've not heard of this mech mod. The Trishul, the Trishul mech mod. Anybody in the chat, have you ever heard of the Trishul mech mod? Trish, U-L. T-R-I-S-H-U-L V2, the Trishul, Trishul V2 uh, with an Asgard Mini and Evergreen Lime Mint. Okay, so dear Benna, I'm dying to try that Evergreen Lime and I don't know why. I just want to vape it. Do you want, oh, Hellvape makes it? It's a semi-regulated? Okay, there we go. Now we got an official answer. The Hellvape Trishul. All right. I still haven't tried it, but I'm dying to try the Evergreen Lime Mint. Doesn't that bottle just look good? Like a, like, doesn't that bottle look like a bottle that you want to vape? At least that I want to vape? Evergreen Lime looks amazing. Geek Vape Aegis Max with a Goon 25 and Dr. Fog Blueberry Donut, powdered sugar and jam. Sounds great. Uh, and my mouth to lung setup. It's a Vupu Drag X Plus and a Vape Fly Brunhild mouth to lung and the juice from my local vape shop, Cactus Pear Menthol. I'm awaiting my first uh, Kennedy Vindicator 21 as a permanent home for the goon, and I'm desperately searching for a Kennedy 25, but I might be too late to the party. Can't find one. Fist bump to you and the cool kids. Keep up the good work you do for the community. Damn it. Hell yeah. Let's make a deal, Brenna. I will keep up everything that I do if you can track me down a bottle of that evergreen lime mint, I have never wanted to vape a flavor more in my life than when I saw that evergreen lime mint bottle. It just looks so freaking delicious. It looks like Tahoe. That's what, <laughs> ah, okay. I can see that cause I can see that. It, it does just look so freaking refreshing, you know? Just looks so freaking refreshing. Uh, I, I want to see your setups, you guys. <clears throat> Send them over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. You can be anywhere in the world. I, I just want to see you vape. I just want to see what you vape on and how you vape and what you vape and your liquids. And I want to see it all. Without, without that, I would not have seen evergreen lime. Let's just look at it again. Should we look at it again? Yeah, we should. Look at this. Don't you want to vape that? Evergreen lime mint. Man, that just sounds so freaking appealing to me. So freaking appealing to me. So that's what I've been vaping. That's what you have been vaping. Let's take a little breath right now. Let's have some, I know, I know, I know. Same, same, same. How delightful is this beer though? Cheers to you, face meat. That's kick ass. What's the learning curve like going from uh, standard box mods to mech mods in terms of if you're using a regulated box mod, I'm assuming if you're using a regulated box mod, 
you have the ability to adjust your wattage up and down, things like this, really dial in your vape. With a mechanical, everything comes down to your build. Your build controls everything because you release the voltage of your battery into a mechanical and it's just unregulated voltage. It's whatever your battery is charged to. It's usually four, four, look, four volts right off the charger, drops down to like three, eight, three, seven throughout the life of the battery, depending on how good your batteries are and the such as. So literally all of your resistance, all of your dialing in comes from your build. So that's what you have to be aware of is your build because you can't control the wattage anywhere else. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but honestly, like I'll use this as an example real quickly. This is the nitrous. We're going to use this for the random liquid tasting later. It's a dual coil 0.2. I could run this on a regulated, set it to like 60 watts, have a great vape. Set it to like 65 watts, have a great vape. I can also take that same 0.2 dual coil, put it on a single battery mech and have a really good vape with it and still get a really good vape with it, you know? So all of it comes down to your build. The build is the most important thing. Ohm's law, yeah. Uh, here's what I'll say. Yeah, absolutely, Frames Janklin. I'll just throw this out there. What Frames said, Ohm's law and battery safety are key when it comes to a mech. Things with a mech do have the ability due to negligence or forgetfulness to go sideways on you in a way that that, that could be bad i i have heard and seen mechanical tube mods with vented 18650 18650 batteries just straight up explode i was at ecc in 2000 and 17 2017, 2018, and we were near the TVL booth. TVL, TVL. We were next, we were down from the TVL booth, and it sounded like a gunshot. It sounded like someone had discharged a firearm in the event. And we all ran over to the TVL booth. No, nope. it was just a dude who hard shorted his 18650, sealed up in a mech mod with nowhere to vent, and the thing just popped. It, it, I don't want, I don't want to use the term exploded, but it was pretty violent and people could have been hurt. So keep an eye on those ohms. Battery safety is important, but honestly, it's not as intimidating as, as people think it is. I'm a big fan of mech mods myself. Personally, I find them to be, and I've said this for years. Were you there, Nick? Do you remember the TVL mech mod? I thought either a gun had went off or like a big, it, it almost sounded like a big glass display case just fell straight on the concrete in like, boom, like one motion. It, it, it scared me. I was terrified of it. Yeah, just do, do a little bit of homework. Do a little bit of Ohm's Law. Know the limits of your batteries. Dude, mech mods are great. I've been saying for years, like I feel like mech mods are the... Uh, manual stick shift of vaping you know you manually control everything there's no automatic transmission there's no you know you can pick up this geek vape thing smart mode i don't even have to adjust anything i just put this on here and it goes oh here's your resistance here's your wattage go ahead and vape but it's a damn that's good vape anyway sorry for that uh i hope uh hope i didn't get too far off track shot put okay um it's that time. There's too much going on. What? F the FDA. There's, uh, there, there's too much going on at the moment, so we've got to jump into some hot news and advocacy action. <laughs> so I posted a, uh, a survey on my Twitter recently. Oh, Connor Smith hella chatted. Okay, you know what? Let's undo the news and advocacy real quick. Uh, and let's go check in on something else. Forgot. I just completely straight up forgot. Sorry. Sorry. I completely forgot. Uh, let's see. Jim Bubba resubscribing for two months. Yo, yo, cool kids. Thank you, bro. Squirrel Rehab. Happy Thursday. Tyler Ba. Yo, freaking yo. Duchess Coils. Gift and subs all over the place. Just brings a smile to my face. Same with Tyler Ba. He's gifting subs all over the place. Frank Neal, thank you. Thank you for that resub. Let's see, what else we got going on in here? 
Boosh, uh, 60 Day Valerian Steel. Appreciate you, Valerian Steel. Mike Berg says Merry Christmas, everybody, because he subscribed for two freaking months. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Mike Bug. Mike Bug. Mallory, that's very gracious of you. Just because F the FDA and F Raja loves when my donations go to people that save lives. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, Raja Krishnamurthy, Raja Krishnamurthy and Dick Durbin are just the worst, aren't they? Just the worst. I, I hope, uh, you know, I posted something along these lines on Twitter, but I hope that in the future, in the not too distant future, that, that people like Raja Krishnamurthy and Senator Dick Durbin might have enough like self-reflection to go, oh man, the last eight years we've been protecting cigarette sales. I, I hope they come to that conclusion soon. I hope they realize that at some point. I'm not giving them too much hope, but Raja is just the worst of the worst. Raja wants your only option to be cigarettes. Raja doesn't give a shit. Raja just, what's that Mike Bloomberg? Oh, I take a bunch of money. What's that? All I have to do is hate vaping. Easily done. Easily done. It's easy to hate vaping right now. Connor Smith, that's very gracious of you. Greetings from the UK. Grim, glad to catch you live. I've got two questions. Okay. What are your thoughts on mesh rebuildables? <laughs> And two, I'm looking to get into mechs. However, I kind of want the minimum protections to start off with. What's the best mech mod to get? What mech mods are even available anymore these days? If, if you could track down a dreamer, I hold the dreamer in very high esteem. If you can track down a Kennedy, uh, like a Kennedy Vindicator, I hold those in very high esteem. Unicorn vape. Unicorn Vape has two pretty banging mech mods. They have the Vert mech mod that I think is really, really good. Uh, yeah, Vert 2. Vert 2, Breeze Tones. Vert 2, anything from Kennedy, the Dreamer if you could get one. But yeah, Unicorn Vape's Vert. That's kind of where I'd go. That might, that, can you still get, you can still get Kennedy's new. I believe you can still get Kennedy's new. The Dawn is confirming that. I think you can still get Kennedy's new. Yeah. Kennedy, yeah. I'm not going to say the name of the of the of the of the website, but I believe I still could buy a Kennedy brand new, Kennedy Vindicator brand new. I believe I could. Uh one more from uh Duchess Coils. What's going on, Duchess Coils with the the donation of the beast? My boy, I feel bad making fun of you later. Uh, he says, uh, yo, yo, and shout out to the cool kids because you're the real cool kids. Uh, hashtag fuck Metallica. Oh, no, you spelled, you said fuck Metallica. You spelled it wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, and then we got, I appreciate you, Duchess Coils. You know, you're, you're my bro, and uh, I like to give you a hard time, as I'm assuming you like to give me a hard time about enjoying Metallica. So, Miss Bagpipes, that's very gracious of you. Got locked out of chat, so I don't know if this will reach you. It did. Much love to you and both Casey's pops, uh, but now mods locked me out of the chat. I'm off. Catch you next week. I'm sorry, Miss Bagpipes. I, were you acting up? If you were acting up, that could be a reason why you were booted from the chat, but... Uh, I can't say for sure, Miss Bagpipes. Hey, appreciate you, Miss Bagpipes. Look at that hella chat. Appreciate you, Miss Bagpipes. Uh, and I think that's it. Duchess Bagpipes, hell yeah. Here we go. Oh, uh, be Ben Monten Ben Montengung gifting subs all over the hell. I appreciate that. That's very cool of you. Very cool of you. I really, I can tell that, Duchess Coils. I can tell you enjoy winding people up. <laughs> What's up, Dickie Mo? Appreciate you being here tonight, buddy. All right, look, let's get into some news and advocacy, okay? Enough is enough. Now it's officially time for news and advocacy. And I almost just stepped on my dog's paw again. Um, 
if you didn't know, today, uh, believe it or not, December 8th, National Lard Day. Did anybody know that this was a real thing? Welcome to December 8th, 2022, National Lard Day. Lard Day is celebrated every December 8th after being shunned for decades. Lard is now resurging as a more nutritious substitute for processed oil and butter. What? Lard Day. Learn about the different ways to induce to introduce lard into your everyday cooking. From frying and baking to simple pan searing, lard is versatile enough to be incorporated into any type of food. In addition, lard is minimally processed, unlike those other really bad trans fats. Lard. Happy Lard Day, everybody. Happy freaking Lard Day. Everybody go consume some lard. Is that why? Is it because keto? It's because the keto heads are like, lard, we need lard. Give me lard. We got lard day. I'm hoping someday in the future we're going to have like national vape day. You know, <laughs> that's like a really nationally recognized vape day. But otherwise, like happy lard day to everyone else. Uh, get some lard. I don't know. Eat some McDonald's. Where? How do you get y lard like regularly, how do you incorporate lard into your diet? I should have read the uh, should have read the article there about the lard. Unbelievable! I just wanted to share this with you real quick. I'm not uh, in the business of self promotion, but uh, I did I did a little interview with uh, Brent Stafford over there at RegulatorWatch.com. They do such a good job at RegulatorWatch.com. Um, we went we rambled on for about a half hour, um, and we went over everything that happened with YouTube and how uh, you know we're harmful and dangerous, and uh, how I have to label my videos and how I got three strikes and how they're applying their rules. And I thought it was a really good uh, interview. Brent is just so nice and so personable. He makes it really easy to just have a conversation with him. And uh, I had a really good time. I had a really good time talking to Brent. Kind of wanted to put this out there so that the the story of YouTube versus the vapors is a thing that exists here. I'll put this in the chat. I'll put it in the description uh, of the video, wherever that ends up, you know, grimgreen.com. Uh, okay, you jerks. I can't put a thing in the chat. Are you kidding me? Nope. That's not even the correct link. I'm sorry. That's the completely <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay. This will be the correct link in the chat, I promise. We're going to talk about that other one in a second. But uh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself. So I posted something on Twitter recently, a survey asking, who is more hostile to tobacco harm reduction? Hope everybody did this. If you didn't, yo, yo, to you jangles. Who is more hostile to tobacco harm reduction, the overwhelming majority of people voted for the United States with Australia coming in a second and Canada coming in third. I honestly believe that the U.S., Australia and Canada are pretty equally hostile to tobacco harm reduction. But I understand the arguments for saying that the United States is the most hostile because the majority of what we would call misinformation or disinformation comes from the United States of America. We had Ivali after all. And now there's doctors in Australia talking about Ivali. There's doctors in Ireland talking about Ivali. There's doctors in Canada talking about Ivali. There's doctors everywhere talking about Ivali. So just the fact that the United States had Ivali and we continued just to blame it on vaping without getting into any specifics of what was actually harming people. So, you know, we could maybe prevent this in the future. We just pinned it on vaping. I do agree. I do agree that the U.S. is the most hostile towards vaping, but I also wanted to look at Australia because Australia is nuts. And I also wanted to share this from Canada. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Mike Smiderman up there in Canada on Marco Polo, and he was sharing with me the new federal excise tax up there. This is bonkers. This is to protect the youths from vaping. That's what this tax is for, to protect the youth. So the products that the youths are using, things like jewel pods, have the lowest tax on them. You buy a little two mil pod, it's only an extra buck of tax. 
So the products that the youths are using are taxed at the lowest rate and the products that the youths have never used and only adults use are taxed at the highest rate. What the fuck sort of backwards regulation is that? You're going to overly tax the products that youths have never used and undertax the products that youths habitually use. Exactly. Youths don't even know what the fuck a tax is. All this does is pushes them straight to the black market where guess what? There are no taxes. There are no age gates. There are no nothing in the black market. 120 mils carries an extra $16 of tax on it. That is, yeah, that's shake my head. That's shake my head and go, does Canada just want adults smoking cigarettes? That's the only logical conclusion that I can come to from looking at these taxes. A two mil jewel pod has an extra buck, but the adults that the products that adults use, like the 120 mil bottles, those are going to be taxed in, out of existence. Newfoundland, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> Newfoundland. Uh, Smackandnudesack.nl. Everybody, please go there if you're in the area. Please go there if you're in the area now. America, yeah, we had a volley. Canada has the ridiculous taxes, but Australia has the prescription method. And I think the prescription method is the, the, worst, the worst method possible. The idea that cigarettes, the really bad things that actually kill the people that use it everywhere, everywhere. Gas stations, convenience stores, grocery stores, tobacco shops, everywhere. You can always get cigarettes. All you need is an ID. If you want a product that will help you quit cigarettes, nope. You're going to have to go to a doctor. You're going to have to get a prescription for nicotine. You're going to have to do math and figure out how much liquid nicotine you're going to need throughout the year because that's the allowed amount that you're allowed to get. So if you run out, sorry, you can't, you have to wait till you get a new prescription and get new nicotine. Crazy. And now I'd like to introduce you to maybe not the dumbest man in Australia, but possibly the most misinformed person in the world. I'm just going to go ahead and call him the dumbest man in Australia because the man is a doctor. The headline says, I've lost my children to vaping. The tragic stories behind the soaring rates of youth addiction. The soaring rates of youth addiction. How do you help a child who is addicted to nicotine from vaping to quit? Here, uh, I will answer this question literally right now. Take it the fuck away from them. That seems super crazy easy. It's illegal for them to buy or use, so you take it away from them and you say, tough shit, guess you shouldn't have started vaping, you dumb fucking kid. That's my solution. Maybe that's too heavy-handed of a solution, but that's my solution. It's a question that, Australians, that Australian parents and doctors are now grappling with. Grappling with? Jason... That's not his real name. He's the father figure in this. Jason is a general practitioner who is used to treating those addicted to tobacco, but he is at a loss as to how to help his 14-year-old son quit vaping. Take it away from him. I'm not a parent, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If I had a kid and he was eating a bunch of sugar out of the bag, I wouldn't just look at him and go, oh my gosh, how do I stop this? He loves sugar so much. How do I get him to stop eating sugar? You walk up to him and you rip it out of his hand and you say, no. Is that too simple of a solution? His son started the habit when he was just 12 years old and was the same age when he was arrested for shoplifting vapes containing nicotine from a convenience store. Do you see how this narrative just all falls together? This poor underage kid got addicted to nicotine, turned to a life of crime. 
turned to a life of crime for shoplifting nicotine from a convenience store. He got away with a warning. But New South Wales police did nothing to reprimand the store's illegally selling nicotine vaping products. Why not? That would have actually fucking helped the situation. If stores are selling illegally, they're supposed to get in trouble. That's how the law works. That's how the law works. <laughs> That's unbelievable to me. That's how the law works. The kid should have been punished. Jason ended up reporting the store to the New South Wales Department uh, Health Department, which raided the shop and confiscated $10,000 worth of illegal vapes. I've tried talking to my son, warning him of the health impacts of vaping and nicotine. I've tried shouting and all of that sort of thing to get him to stop. Have you tried physically taking the vape away from your kid? Is, is that not a solution? Is, is that not on the table? It doesn't work because nicotine is highly addictive. No, it doesn't work because you haven't ripped it out of his hands yet. You, he's like, I've tried everything. Yelling at him and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> okay. It doesn't work because nicotine is highly addictive. We tried giving him nicotine gum, but it was a waste because the amount of nicotine and gum is so minimal compared to the amount you get from vaping that it did nothing for his cravings. My favorite part about that sentence is this doctor in Australia is openly admitting that NRT gums are completely ineffective. Comple completely ineffective. I don't know if that's the point he was trying to make, we tried giving him nicotine gum, but it was a waste of time because the amount of nicotine and gum is so minimal compared to the amount you get from vaping. It did nothing for his cravings. So he basically just admitted that NRT gum is just a waste of money and that it will not help anybody quit smoking. It'll do nothing for your cravings. Jason has resorted to giving his son two cigarettes a day to replace the vape. I take back everything I said. This is the dumbest man in Australia. S hands down. There's a reason why he didn't use his real name. Because forever Jason will be known as the dumbest man in Australia. Your kid is vaping. And this alarms you. And instead of taking it away from him and being, you know, a parent, you give him cigarettes? Combustible, lethal, carcinogen-filled cigarettes to your 14 year old son fuck that guy he he should be taken away from his kids you should not be giving cigarettes 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 the man's brains have fallen out that poor kid could you imagine <laughs> this poor fucking kid who's 14 who's maybe vaping and then his dad's forcing him to smoke cigarettes every day. That's just negligent parenting. I can't, I mean, that is bonkers. That is blowing my mind. Jason knows that tobacco is harmful and comes with significant health consequences, but is facing a quandary that is common in many health practitioners and parents when young people come to them and say they are addicted to vaping. Yep, give them cigarettes. I, I, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked that that's the conclusion that he came to was giving my kids cigarettes. There's no Matt Sinister timer tonight, Duchess Coils. I'm sorry, Matt Sinister. I love you. There's too much to discuss. I'll leave a link uh, to the dumbest man in Australia in the chat. There'll be a link uh, in the description of this video, maybe on Twitch, definitely on YouTube, and definitely on GrimGreen.com. But this article is bananas. It's the opposite of anything that anybody should do. Read it. Read it. It's the story of a doctor who caught his kid vaping and decided to give his kid cigarettes because he wants him to stop vaping. What? What even is that? I don't even have the words. I don't even have the words for that. That is... 
That's unbelievable to me. That's unbelievable to me. That's that's crazy. That's like saying, well, my son was, he was riding his bicycle too much, so I bought him a motorcycle. Because the bicycles can be dangerous. So at least if he's riding a motorcycle, like what the fuck is wrong with you? It makes literally no sense. Contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Yeah. Contributing to the delinquency of a minor. And the fucked up thing is they did this to themselves. Australia's horrible regulations created this. I love seeing all of like the, the, the fake shocked people on Twitter who are like, oh no, there's a vaping black market now. And I go, yeah, but you, you knew this was going to happen. We warned you about this. It's like, oh no, the black market that we were warned about relentlessly by vape advocates for years has finally happened because we didn't change anything. We just stayed the course. And now you're surprised? Shut up. People are so fucking dumb. It makes me insane. It makes me insane. You know there's going to be a black market. No, there won't. Oh, my God, there's a black market. What? Ha! Ha! It's the biggest I told you so in the history of time. I hate, I hate that the, the fears of a black market just get shirked off so easily. Well, you know, there's going to be a black market where they don't check IDs and there's no safety standards or anything. No. I, if we ban something, the people that were going to do it will just stop. Okay. Well, moving on from that, there is something that can be done in Australia. I'm going to post a link to this in the chat, in the description of the video on YouTube and in the description of the video on grimgreen.com and in the description of the video, maybe here on Twitch. Proposed reforms to the regulation of nicotine vaping products. This is the Department of Health from Australian government, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, which is basically their FDA. You can take a survey. It's open until January 16th, 2023. Anybody that consumes nicotine should be taking this survey. Anybody that consumes nicotine in Australia should be consuming this nicotine. Right, 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 yes. But, but be a parent, right? Am I, am I wrong? If as long as that person is under 18 years old, if they do something illegal, they're breaking the law and you can, you just take it away from them. You say, no, you're a kid. You're 14. You don't get to smoke or vape. Your punishment is nicotine withdrawals. Go to your room. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't just take it away from them. Maybe life finds a way. Maybe that kid will just vape forever. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if he vapes. Of all the things that youths could be doing, if I had some sort of offspring and they were like, hey, uh, I don't know why they have such a low voice. Maybe they're, maybe they're already in their 20s. Hey, I've been vaping. Oh, out of all of the things that youths shouldn't be doing, vaping is the least concerning thing that youths shouldn't be doing. Youths vape, youths vape less than they smoke. They vape, or no, they don't vape less than they smoke. They vape less than they drink alcohol. They, they vape less than they binge drink alcohol. They vape less than they smoke weed. They vape less than they have unprotected sex. They vape less than they drive drunk. Like there is a multitude of things that youth should not be doing. Vaping is the least concerning thing of all of them. And the idea that this kid was vaping and his dad is giving him cigarettes right now, that's just straight up fucking negligent. That's bonkers to me bananas bananas i can't i can't even wrap my hand around that it's time for the octopus uh let's see what else uh so the australian government if you're there do it i had one more thing i wanted to mention nope that's it uh it is national lard day uh, uh smack and nude zach oh the last thing here here's the last sad thing uh, Jim McDonald wrote a great piece about it, but Fast Tech closed. The days of Fast Tech are no more. Let's see what Fast Tech had to say. Fast Tech story ends here. Dear valued customers, it was a heavy heart that Fast Tech has decided to close down our business. 
The decision has been uh, taken predominantly because of the new legislation on the vape industry. The new measures and restrictions make the road ahead much more uncertain, which also leads us to no longer remain competitive on price and delivery. We did our best to avoid getting to this point. However, with the current industry regulations, we have been left with no choice but to be forced to close down. We want to take this opportunity to thank each of you for being loyal customers for the past 10 years. It's been a pleasure. Where would we, you know, where would we be without fast tech? We would have never had like the great clone wars of 2014, 2015. We would have never had, you know, uh, styled atomizers. You know, there never would have been a goon styled atomizer. Fast tech, you know, love them or hate them. Fast tech helped tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people stay off of cigarettes sad it's sad i made uh i think in my career <laughs> i think in my life i've made three maybe three orders from fast tech over the years sad to see him go sad to see him go and and with that that is actually the last uh little bit of news that i wanted to share i think what was it? national lard day australia smack a nude zach um I'm just going to throw this. I'm not going to read it or anything like that, but uh, uh, I love this country. I love the country of Sweden. I have their flag tattooed on me. Sweden achieves the lowest smoking rate in Europe and is on track to become officially smoke-free. Officially smoke-free. That means under 5% of the population is currently smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes. That's what the smoke-free metric is, is under 5%. If you can get your country under 5% smoking, that is a smoke-free country. Sweden is going to meet this smoke-free goal 18 years ahead of the target. The EU set up a target of being smoke-free by 2040. Sweden is going to get there 18 years early. The only thing that Sweden is doing is substituting cigarettes for less harmful nicotine products. And it's not at the behest of their government. And it's not at the behest of public health groups. It's literally just the consumers going, I'm not going to smoke. I'm going to use snus. Welcome to smoke-free Sweden. Welcome to consistently the lowest rates of all cancers in the whole of the European Union. Welcome to Sweden getting to a smoke-free country 18 years ahead of schedule. USA could get there. We could get there. If we embraced vaping, we'd be Sweden. We'd be Sweden. If there wasn't a moral panic around nicotine right now, we could be Sweden. Nope. You're not going to sucker me in with that, Jay Blaze Coils. We're going to go to uh, Super Chats now because that's the end of the news and advocacy. I think that's the end of it. The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. Maggots. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, we had Miss Bagpipes. We had Rory. Uh, he, he said fail fish us using six bits. Appreciate you, Roya. Rory, appreciate you guys. That Australian guy. What are we supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Y your kid. I know you have a moral objection to your, your kid using nicotine, but your kid made the good decision to not light up and inhale deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. And you're forcing him to do that anyway. Do, do we should we make sure that people smoke cigarettes before they vape? Is that the is that the benchmark that we're going for? You can only vape if you smoked cigarettes before. Oh, dang. There's a million ways to do it. Yeah, give him zero nick. Give him zero nick. <laughs> give him zero nick. Giving him cigarettes. Uh, see, yep, that's the story. Appreciate you sharing that. I accidentally quit with vaping when I couldn't find cheap smokes. Lots. The, there's so there's more people I've I've come across ever in my life who have accidentally quit smoking when they had no intention to. Ah, I bought a vape. Accidentally quit smoking with it. <laughs> 
Did you accidentally ever buy a patch and quit smoking with it? Did you ever accidentally buy some nicotine gum and quit smoking with it? No, because that doctor dad in Australia already admitted that NRTs are ineffective. The nicotine just wasn't enough for him. Maybe that's why vaping works so well. Oh, I feel like I'm just yelling into the void here. Anyway, hey, appreciate you guys bearing with me for uh, some hot news and advocacy action. What I want to do right now is flip the script completely and talk about music. Duchess, are you still here? Are you still here? Listen, Earn, this is where I stand. This is where I stand. We have the same outlook. Adults should be able to do whatever the fuck they want to. I don't give a shit if you never smoked and pick up a vape, stop gatekeeping. Yes, 100%. 100%. And nobody does that. Nobody goes up to a vapor and goes, hey, hey, how long did you smoke before you did that? Doesn't matter. Could have been zero. I've met people at vape shows who had only smoked for like a year before they switched to vaping. A few months maybe before they switched to vaping. Good on you. You made the right choice. You made the right choice. Um, let's talk about music real quick because I want to add some songs to the... Uh, Getting to know Grim Green's Spotify playlist. Oh, Metlica. Oh, Metlica, our home and native land. No, that's the Canadian national anthem, I think. Metlica. I am a big fan of Metlica. I'm talking about Metallica, but I call them Metlica because... I was watching the uh, year and a half in the life of Metallica documentary, and um, there was just a really funny part where James Hetfield was walking around the studio, and he was looking at all the tape, like things were labeled with tape, and like their tour crates were labeled, and one of them was spelled Metlica, and he's like, fucking Metlica, they can't even spell our name right, and I just died laughing, like I thought that was the funniest thing, oh, that's right, if we're talking about Metlica, the Duchess has to show up, put an end to it. <laughs> It's the Metlica police. Okay, so go by, go away, Metlica police. I love Metallica. Metallica is one of the few bands that I have enjoyed from the first moment I heard them all my whole life. I don't think there's another band. I mean, Guar, sure, but I've been listening to Metallica longer than Guar. Clutch, sure, fucking, I love Clutch. I love almost everything that Clutch has ever released from the beginning to the end, but I've been listening to Metallica longer than Clutch. I started listening to Metallica in seventh grade, I think I first heard Kill 'em All. Seventh or eighth grade, I first, Kiss, Kiss, Kiss. Okay, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll go back on that and I'll say Kiss. I've been listening to Kiss longer than I've been listening to Metallica. That's a good point. But the difference between Metallica and Kiss, listen, we can have the Megadeth versus Metallica argument all day long. I love that argument because honestly, I think both of them are better. I think Megadeth has some albums that are better than Metallica. And I think Metallica has more albums that are better than Megadeth albums. But we're not doing that discussion today. Metallica. I loved Metallica from the first moment I heard them in eighth grade. And they're a band that I stuck with. You know, I stuck with them the whole time. I've, for the most part, abandoned Guar. I don't, I don't care for new Guar very much. Maybe someday later it'll grow on me, but for now I don't care. I've broken up with Guar a little bit. I will worship and live and die for their old stuff, but the new stuff, eh, not so much. Metallica, I've stuck with them. I feel like I've earned this band. Like, ma ma like Kill 'Em All comes out, it's amazing. Master of Puppets comes out, it's amazing. And, you know, Ride the Lightning comes out, it's amazing. And Justice for All comes out, it's amazing. You know? And then they release like Load and you go, oh, okay, Metallica, I don't love that, but I'll catch up with you the next time you come around, you know? And then they release uh, Death Magnetic and you go, okay, welcome back, Metallica, nice to see you again. And then they release like Saint Anger and you go, see you later, Metallica, have no desire to, no desire to hang out with this album in any capacity. And then they release Hardwired and you go, oh, okay, Metallica, I welcome back. Love it. I love me some Metallica. Some of my favorite songs in the history of music are Metallica songs, are Metallica songs. I never gave up on Metallica. 
and I wanted to, and I didn't. I didn't really like Load or Reload. They're fine. It's whatever. I don't really care for those albums, but there's they're fine Metallica albums. There's worse albums out there. Didn't love the Lulu album. Didn't love uh, you know what they did uh, Lulu with. Uh, can't remember even that guy's name that they coll collaborated with. Didn't love that album. Didn't love uh, Saint Anger. Obviously, what a terrible album that is. But I've stuck with Metallica. I even like their new song. Aditana. It's really good. Yeah, Lou Reed. That's right, Lou Reed, which I'm a fan of Lou Reed. I just don't think that Metallica and Lou Reed should have hung out at all. The, the, the music that they created was like, you just would have been better off not doing that. Like, what are you doing? You should have just not done that. So the, the difference is I've stuck with Metallica through thick and thin, through good and bad. I like their new stuff. I like their old stuff. I like most of the stuff in the middle. But mostly I just like Metallica. I like, I like it, you know, it reminds me of back in the day when like you knew every member of the band. You know, you knew their first and last names. You knew every member of the band. You knew exactly what they did. You know who was the writer, who was the lyricist, who was all these things. And Metallica just reminds me of that time when it was like, oh, Kirk, Lars, you know, James, Cliff, that's fucking Metallica. You know the bands and you know the albums and you know the songs and you know the members and like that's why Metallica holds such a special place in my heart because I remember listening to them in seventh grade and eighth grade and when I put on this album now, I still get fucking just as pumped to hear these songs as I did when I was in eighth grade. I think ob like subjectively, this is my favorite Metallica album. I like every single song on it. It's banger after banger after banger after banger. Master of Puppets is, in my opinion, the, the Metallica album. It's the Metallica album. I went to go buy this album when I was uh, very young, and my mom wouldn't let me buy it. <laughs> she just wouldn't. She was very, like, super overprotective of the music that I listened to. She wouldn't, she didn't like me buying a lot of metal and... So I, I wanted to buy Metallica Master of Puppets and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, she wouldn't let me do it. And I even tried to explain it to her. I'm like, no, it's not evil. Look at all the crosses. And like, you know, it's good. And like, these are, these are God's hands. You know, I'm trying to like tell her that this Metallica album is something that I should buy. She wouldn't let me buy it. So eventually I saved enough money to go buy Metallica Master of Puppets. And I bought Metallica Master of Puppets and I bought Def Leppard Hysteria in the same day at the Good Mall in Sacramento. And I just loved it. It was like the proudest day of my life. I, I remember just sitting in the car, you know, because you're sitting in the car with your dad and, you know, you're driving home two hours from Sacramento and I don't have a CD player. Like, I can't listen to this. All I can do is, like, sit and stare at the album cover on the way home, you know, read all the lyrics, read all the liner notes, like, look at the pictures, Look at the pictures again. Look at that. Read the song titles. You're like, oh, Welcome Home Sanitarium. Nice. Disposable Heroes. Nice. Can't wait to get home and listen to this CD. You know, I just loved it. Metallica Master Puppets is a pivotal album for me. I, I love everything about it. I think it's far and away the best Metallica album, hands down. Um, when I was a little kid, not a little kid, I guess a little kid, old enough to vape at least. The first song, Battery, I now know as an adult that battery, it's like, uh, you know, if, if you batter someone, like beating someone to a pulp. But when I, was a, when I was younger, I thought that they wrote a song about a battery. I just thought it was called Battery. And they like were really into batteries or something. I didn't, I didn't quite get it, you know? I didn't know what was going on with Battery. I was like, why did they write a song about batteries? That's so fucking weird. So, Metallica, live long forever, Metallica. Here, let's put Duchess the Metallica Police back up here because he loves it. He's here to, he's here to, oh, confiscate the Metallica record, Duchess Coils. Okay, so the the two songs from Metallica's Master of Puppets album. This is too difficult to choose, but we're going to put two songs on the playlist. I have a Spotify playlist. It's on uh, uh, Ranger Rusty's doing it on uh, iTunes as well. iTunes as well. How do you even choose? I, obviously, I want to put Orion on it, but...
Okay, let's just go with Master of Puppets. We'll go with Master of Puppets. I know, Damage Inc., right? Not. I want to do Master of Puppets and Disposable Heroes? I would really like to put Master of Puppets, Disposable Heroes, and Orion on the playlist, so we may just do that. There's no bad song on this album. Battery rules. Master Puppets rules. The thing that should not be amazing. Sanitarium. Leave me be. Disposable Heroes. Leper Messiah. Bow to Leper Messiah. Yeah. God damn it, James. Okay, so let's go with Master Puppets, Disposable Heroes, and Orion. Orion isn't necessarily like a banger, but it's just damn, damn, damn hell ass good of a song. Fuck it all the fucking regrets. I know. Metallica. Ah, oh, Metallica Master of Puppets. And I even have this record. This is just boring. You know, I bought it at a record store. It was like 20 bucks. It's just black vinyl. It's just a reissue of a repress of a repress of a repress. It's just Metallica Master Puppets. But I do also have this one. Oh, I can't find it. Hang on. I have a picture disc. Ah. Boom. Met like a picture disc. Um, this was a gift from a subscriber. Oh, no. Where'd the note go? Oh, no. I had a note in here telling me who this came from. Shit. Well, this came from someone, and I apologize, but it's basically it's just a picture disc. It's Metallica Master Puppets. It's the vinyl art on the record, and that is uh, that's sick as mammaries. I love it. Man, if you if you're the person that sent me that, then I apologize and I am I am terrible. I am a terrible person that I forgot that. There was a note on the inside to remind me. Okay, Duchess, we're done talking about Metallica. Appreciate you being the Metallicop. Metallicop. Oh my god, that's amazing, Metallicop. Oh so, Rhett's beard. All right, good enough. Let's put we're gonna put those songs on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. I'm telling you, if you're not even into Metallica, just listen to those Metallica songs. They're great. Listen to Orion. That song is a uh, slaps, as the kids say. Slaps. I've heard I've heard the youths say that. What should we do? I had a list. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let's get into some. Uh, I got I. You, I love you, Duchess. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Lavender, set, lavender vanilla garbage bags? Let's get into some freaking mail. Um, I have a mess of mail. Um, because there was no vlog last week. Because there was no vlog last week. Uh, I do have a whole mess of mail this week, and, and we're just going to tear through it. Some I, see, see, some of it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I know some of it's going to be awesome. There's a package from Face Me in here. I think there's a package from The Tribal Buddha in here as well. How are you guys doing tonight? You listening to Metallica? I knew you would be. I knew you'd be listening to some Metallica. Got to see Metallica for the first time in my life in 2018, and it was mind-blowingly good. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold opened. It was Avenged Sevenfold, which... Eh, I don't care. They're fine. Gojira and then Metallica. And uh, Metallica came out and was just punishing. Just punishing. Woo! I have never heard of this. This is a retro vape. <laughs> Chris. Uh, Chris. Chris. Uh, Raven. Here's the worst piece of vape gear I've ever tried. I don't want to bias your use, but wow. Had potential and was different, but somehow someone said, yep, that's the thing. Go to production is laughable. Enjoy, <laughs> Chris, uh, a.k.a. Raven, a.k.a. Raven8187, a.k.a. Patreon, the total asshole on Twitter. I see you on Twitter. I'm Replay Crusoe. Heads up, if this makes a vlog, it would be great. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a heads up, Raven. 
I'll give you a heads up. I'll hit you up on the on the Discord. But what we got was the Piper RDA. Show of hands in the chat. Anybody tried out the Piper RDA from Hugs? <laughs> Hugs? Hugs Vape? Was Hugs Vape Hell Vape before they changed their name? Let's see what's going on with this thing. I just want to look at the deck. Here, let's look at the deck real quick together. Oh. Oh. Why don't you get the batteries that plug in? I don't know. Then you'll never have a dead battery. Yeah, I know. It's just easier this way. It's just a second. Just a second. Look at this number. Okay. From Hugs. <laughs> this is the Piper RDA. All right. Well, look. Right out of the gate, it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty slick. Bottom airflow. 810 drip tip. What is that? What is that? What the crap is that? Horizontal coils or vertical coils? Is this horizontal coils or vertical? <laughs> Put it on a clutch. Is this? I don't know if this is horizontal, horizontal or vertical. Because you could do. Nope. This might be a vertical coil RDA because that's the airflow comes through the middle. There's almost no deck. There's like almost no juice well on there. Uh. Vertical coils. All right. Hey, that's fine. Look, I know it is vertical coils, isn't it? I don't I don't want that. I don't want vertical coils. I just don't want to use it. All right. Well, look, we have a future retro vape. I, I'll use this for a different retro vape. I have a retro vape for tonight already squared away and ready to go that I'm I don't know. Could be a could be a mess, could be a nightmare. We'll see. All right. Hugs. Here, let me keep this note with this RDA so I don't pull the Metallica thing and be like, oh, I don't know who sent me this. You go in. Note goes in. What else is happening here? Don't know where this came from. Probably China because of the tape, you know? Has anybody used that RDA? The Piper RDA? Yeah, vertical coils. Oh, joy. Vertical coils, something that nobody should use. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to gatekeep. They're just terrible. Oh, look at that. We got a new RDA. Use, guys. This is the Alvaro from Spain. It's produced by Dam Vape, and it's the Mind Flayer. He did uh, the A-Temporal RTA, the A-Temporal Boro, and we've got this RDA right here. Love that Mind Flayer logo. Looks like it has an Ultem cap, stainless cap. Let's look up close, because we can. This is the Alvaro RDA. It looks pretty slick. Like it's not a bad looking RDA. It's got that like type two record player texture to it that I like. Knurled as hell on top. I'm assuming it has some sort of airflow control. Wacky looking deck. Okay. Okay. So one side's positive, one side's negative. Dual coils go right in the middle. Airflow comes from magic. Oh, right there and right there. Ah. Ah. Okay, so your leads go on this side, your leads go on that side. Kind of seems pretty straightforward. Interesting. All right, well, you know, I got a build stream next week. Let's do some friggin' mind flaying. 810 drip kit. Don't know what this is. Oh, hey, look at that. 
beauty rings, and the such as. Is that what that is? Where does this go? Oh, it goes on the drip tip, I see. It's a customizable drip tip sort of situation. Okay. Okay. Okay, Alvaro. The Alvaro RDA. Now we got we got a we got a build for the build stream on Tuesday. Sick. I've been missing RDAs. There haven't been new RDAs in a while. I feel. But wait, there's more. There's always more. There's always more. There's always money in the banana stand. Hey now. Whoa. What are you? Am I gonna get in trouble, you well, for showing this? I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble, but let's set it up real quick. What color did I open? Carbon black. Okay. Caliburn. Another month, another Caliburn. This is the Caliburn Tenet. Don't get mad at me, you well. Oh, this is a this is a uh, rugged looking Caliburn. I'm assuming same pods, although those look like the G2 pods, don't they? Yeah, they're G2 pods. Why? Why, when there's A2 and A2S pods, are we using the G2 pods? Uh, super chunky, super corrugated, rivets everywhere, grippy, rivets. Looks like little knobs you can turn, but you can't. Fire button, the tenant. The Caliburn Tenant. Here's what I'll say. That's the wrong screen. Here's what I'll say. Heavy. It's weighty. It's it's weighty. I was gonna say <laughs> tribal Buddha. Merry Christmas. I found a pod that tribal Buddha might use, and it's the Tenant. Hang on. I want to kind of want to see the other color. Olive green and gray and copper. Yeah, so they kind of went with some, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, that looks exactly like I expected it to. There's the copper. As soon as it focuses, there it is. There's the copper. It's weathered, it's worn. That actually looks kind of cool, man. Lots of rivets, lots of grippy texture. It's a little bit heavy. It's a little bit weighty. And if it's a G2 pod, it honestly should vape pretty freaking good. Let's just set this up. Not the copper one. Not the copper one. Not the copper one. Let's try the green one. I want to set up the olive green one just because we can. I see you, Six King Phil. I know you'll be right back. It does kind of look like the old Tesla stuff. Tesla e-cigs, by the way. This is a very, very, look at that color. That's a bitchin' like army green. Okay, that's actually pretty sick. Maybe I should send this one to, to, uh, to Tribal Buddha. Now I don't know what to send you. Jerk. All right. I'll set up. The original black one, because that's the one that I'll use. I'll send you the green one. I think that's a fair enough deal. I think that's a fair enough deal. Honestly, so far, all the colors on these look pretty sick. As much as, like, another Cali burn, you just kind of go, all right, another Cali burn. I'm assuming it's going to vape amazing. The GK coil heads vaped good. The G... 
The G2K coil heads vape good. The A2, A3 coil heads vape awesome. Let that soak up a little bit before we get too carried away. Do this. Uh, actually, I wanted to give a, this is a, a non-vape mail, vape mail, but I wanted to give a shout out to this company, Light Up, Lighten Up Customs. Boosh, shout out to Lighten Up Customs. I got a little care package from Lighten Up Customs, courtesy of uh, of uh, Foot Clan Danibus. And uh, what they make is, so this is for the Astro. It's an Astro panel replacement kit. That's pretty sick. Button, uh, you know, I almost said volume rocker. Wattage rocker, display, switch. They're pretty sick. And they're UV, uh, they're UV, you know, reactive. Lighten up customs. Lighten up customs. And he did up these sick billet box panels that I think are crazy sick. I love these. They're for a mission switch, but they're, you know, metal. Metal bo uh, billet box panels. And it looks like he just, I don't even know the technique you would use to do this. It looks like he threw a whole mess of layers of paint on there, red, white, and blue paint, you know, brushed it off or, or sanded it off in layers. It left a really nice, smooth finish. Colors, there you can see, you can see like a little, like a prism effect kind of happening a little bit in the black. They're rad and they're metal. And uh, I'm going to put that mission switch on my silver billet box. And these are going to go on my silver billet box because I think those just look sick. You can kind of see it looks like a little face right there. It looks like a geode. It does kind of look like a geode. Yeah, Foot Clan Dan is the goat. I like these panels a lot. I think they are going to look good on my silver billet box. They're very red, white, and blue. I like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Lighten Up Customs, for the panels. Oh, this is a... Uh... Nope, it's a Christmas gift. That's one of Casey's Christmas gifts. <laughs> That's one of Casey's Christmas gifts. <laughs> Sally, appreciate you. There's no such thing as late. There's no such thing as late here. Whenever you show up, that's when you were supposed to show up, you know? Peace out, Redsbeard. Drink your night milk. I'll see you in the chat. Get that note. All right. We got a, a geek vape, which... I know, we're all real torn on Geek Vape these days, or at least some people are. Oh, bitchin'! Oh, thank you, Geek Vape! I don't necessarily love the pastel colors, but, uh, Sonder you. This is a good pod. This is a good pod. Oh, Ben, look at that. Geek Vape sent me a little, uh, a little Christmas gift besides the Sonder U's, which I love. I'm going to open the blue one or the green one immediately. Shit, I'll rock that pink one. I don't give a hell. Call the cops. I'll rock a pink pod. Oh, and there's more Sonder U's. Oh, there's a white one. A white and a red Sonder U. These are just good pods. There's no way around it. I love these pods. I'm thankful for the restock. I was out of coil heads and I need to vape that pod because it's good. Now, they also sent along a little, uh, you know, iPhone holder for your car thing. I love getting the most random gifts from Chinese factories during Christmas. You know, Vapresso usually sends something ridiculous. Vupu will send something ridiculous. Dude, pink is punk, punk as hell. Pink is punk as fuck. Ah, and, I, and it'll hold my phone, I see. And it's powered. It has to plug in. All right, well. Let's, we'll I'll get this to the car and we'll see if this will work. It just hugs onto your vent. And it's an iPhone holder. 
Thanks, Geek Vape. It's honestly kind of slick. And I don't know if you know, but I was in the market for a new iPhone holder <laughs> for my car. How did you know, Geek Vape? How did you know? Dude, I'm stoked on those Saunders. Man, I'm a little bit more excited about that Saunder U pod than I am about this new Cali Burn because I've had the GK2 pods. And I've had the Sonder pods, and let me tell ya. Let's give this a shot. Where's the airflow? Oh, the airflow's on the side. I'm right I'm going to pause the airflow. Okay. Cheers. Caliburn Tenant. Of course it's awesome. That babe's like a fucking dream. like a dream flavor rules airflow switch was getting a little bit spotty on me there right on the first toot mm. that's better just god such good flavor i kind of want to put that next to I kind of want to put that side by side next to this little Sonder U pod, so I'm going to fill this up too. So cool. Look at that. Look how cool. Love the Sonder U. At least I remember loving it. You know, that could all be that could all be changed around now. It still fills on the bottom, you know. It still fills on the bottom, so that's a damn thing. Oh yeah, look at that fill. Look at that easy fill. No bubble dancing. Boom. Let this sit for a second and vape the sonder you. Because I needed more pods set up on my desk. I only have 30 or so. Should definitely set up at least three to four more. Three to four dozen more. Caliburn's vaping good. That guava is, oh my God, not hands-free. You got to really want it. Moving on. Moving on. Remember to cut straight towards your vital organs. That's the best way to use a knife. You can tell from the color who 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 manufactured this. Oh, that's Inakin, by the way. Inakin BT dubs. This is the Endura Apex. Endura Apex. Here's the thing. I have always been a fan of Inakin, just not their products. <laughs> Does that make sense? I love Inakin. I've always loved Inakin. And it's because the MVP was like my first. My first daily banger mod that was like, yes, I love this chargeable and I love it and everything's awesome about it. And ever since then, I've been a Inakin fanboy and then their products just got not great. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's a nice little battery. Twisty wattage on the bottom. It's like a big ego twist. You get a big apex prism tank with it. It's not much to look at. You know, it's, it's like it's like every other regulated tube that's 22 millimeters with a tank. It's got a real throwbacky feel to it, which I like. I like the throwbacky feel. I just want them to release like the MVP classic. That's the old Inakin MVP. Maybe throw it something like a fancy DNA on the side. Give it like a ridiculous 3000 mAh battery. Banging. That would be banging. That would be banging 9000. But wait. Let's try the Sonder U.
Yeah. Good. Good. Man, these pods are good. Geek Vape Sonder U. I still stand by it. Still stand by it. Pods ranked coming eventually. And let me guess. I put my knife away again because that's just what I do in between every package. Remember to cut towards your vital organs. Okay, don't. Don't do that. You okay down there, Murphy? Are you getting... Is there a little too much going on for you? I, I look down there and I say his name and I can see his tail start just whapping against all my cords. <laughs> oh, what are you? The drag four. What's a drag for? A drag is for vaping. Classy. Slick packaging, Vupu. Dang, that tank looks gigantic to me. Drag four. All right, all right. It's a drag. Classy. Love the wood. Really like the wood. I do. It slides off just like I thought it would. Dual 18s. Not the strongest magnet. Feels, ah, feels pretty strong, actually. 510 gene chip on the inside. Now, this thing just looks really big to me. Maybe I'm mistaken, but does that sub tank look very, like, really tall? Like extra tall? Like it's like a Cabello size sub tank? C frame. Yeah, exactly. RGB thigh socks. It's a classic C frame design. This kind of never goes out of style. Pretty ergonomic in the hand. I like that wood finish. The tank just looks huge. The tank just looks gigantic. What are you doing, Smurfy? <sighs> super, super swooshy hollow airflow. All right, drag four. Well, look, we'll get there when we get there. I'm a little bit behind schedule with my reviews as it is. We'll get there when we get there. Drag four. In all honesty, I'm probably going to start the review for most of these products that I got tomorrow. I'm going to start the Drag 4 tomorrow, start some other stuff tomorrow. Drag 4! I'm actually pretty excited about this. The Drag has been just such a, you know, I would say it's arguably more more recognizable these days than even like the Pro Vary. You know, people talk about the Pro Vary being the legendary you know, iconic vape product, the Pro Vary, I would argue that the drag is a little bit more iconic in vaping than the Pro Vary is. Maybe not. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm dumb. Didn't put my knife away, though. All right, last package. Last package from Face Meat. This is going to be treats. This is going to be good. This is This is treats. I can tell. I just know it. I can see it gonna be something awesome it says something bakery on it and that just makes me so happy <gasps> what are you give me all the treats face me <laughs> Nick oh face me does I need to ask Face Me to question if he ever gets sick of being rad as hell. Does, Face Me, do you ever get sick of being rad as hell? Uh, Nick, enjoy the Aussie treats. The hot sauce is made from fermented homegrown peppers. I make sauce every year, and this year's batch is probably my best yet. Dry oatmeal Face Me. F his, hot so his hot sauce is called Face Heat. His hot sauce is called Face Heat. That's freaking amazing. New Wave Dave, Yak Bong. You want some Face Heat? <laughs> See you later, Delia's hair. Homemade hot sauce. Dude, Face Meat makes homemade hot sauce with homegrown peppers. Fermented homegrown peppers. And it's called Face Heat. Woo! Hi! Damn! Well... 
I know the perfect application for this is going to be tonight on my dinner of Taco Bell. All right, buddy. All right. It's a good thing. I know. Face heat. Is that a better? Is there a be <laughs> That's the perfect face heat. It's like, uh, and he did, he sent me a bunch of Australian uh, goodies. What do we have? Cadbury boysenberry ripple. Boysenberry ripple. Shout out to the. Shout out to the Knott's, hashtag Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, there's a little cherry ripe. There's a little uh, Freddy. What is it? Tropical Freddo. If you never had a cherry ripe, these things are amazing. I've had them before. There's a ball. There are Vegemite cheese. What is, should I be eating this? Vegemite and cheese shapes? Australia's weird. Cadbury balls. We got another milk bar. Oh, this, this, that's the bomb.com. That's the bomb.com. A bounty bar. I'm going to have to save this for Casey or at least half of it. Uh, squeeze on tomato sauce. Is this, so it's just ketchup. Squeeze on ketchup. No, face meat is not. I mean, as far as I know, he's not Australian. I think he has a connection to Australia in some way. And he even, like, heat, like, in, uh, I don't even know what to call it, like, uh, you know, um, insulated this from, from the, with, like, face meat. You rule, bro. You rule ass. You just do. There's no way around it. You just rule ass. Thank you for the face heat. What a good vape mail. What a damn hell ass good vape mail, dude. We got a new RDA. We got new Inican stuff. We got a new Cali burn. We got the Geek Vape Sonder U. Best pod in the history of pods. The Drag 4. We got new Geek Vape stuff. We got, we got face heat. This is all, this is face heat. This is what it comes down to. Should I put the face heat on the Vegemite crackers? Could that be a thing? Breeze Tones, have you tried all these products? Have you tried the Vegemite crackers? Is that something I should actually eat? I've had Marmite. I've had Marmite. I brought Marmite home from uh, the UK on my first trip to the UK. I brought some Marmite home. Taste it now. What, the hot sauce? No, I don't want to. It's going to melt my face. Spicy, it's spicy, it's uh, it's spicy. Put it in your RDA. <laughs> put it in the. <laughs> put it on the clutch. <laughs> spicy. I'm already sweating. I can feel it. I can feel myself sweating. Maybe my festive Dixon needs to come off, and we need to be prong time. Prong's not quite as festive as the guar. Vegemite's an acquired taste. I've heard that uh, like all of the mites, like Vegemite, Marmite, uh, Goofy Mite, they're all acquired tastes from what I understand. I liked Marmite fine until I suddenly hated it. Suddenly hated it. Put it in the hugs. Build the hugs. Put face heat on the vertical coils in the hugs. <laughs> uh, I think we're not going to do that. I think we may be not going to do that. Um, I don't know if any super chats came in, but that's the end of the vape mail. So let's go check. Sorry, it has to uh, load. Uh, no, but Dirty Magnets resubscribed. Appreciate you. Hey, all, what's up? The Don J resubscribed. Thanks for the information using mesh wicks in the Boxer V2. I have a brand new never used Boxer. Whoa. Use it. The Dawn. Get that out. Use the mesh. It works. It works. Fishy. That's very gracious of you. In with the super chat of the beast. Okay. The party can commence now. I am here. Hey, cool kids. Hey, fishy. Love you, bro. Hey, love you. 
Uh, and then uh, Master of Puppets Changed My Life. Ben Porter says, Master of Puppets Changed My Life. Master of Puppets Changed My Life. Master of Puppets Changed My Life. The reason that I wanted to listen to Master of Puppets is the dumbest reason. I, I, I was into like rock and metal and stuff like that. I, I, I At that time, I think I was listening to like uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was into uh, Queensryche. Uh, I was just, I was into rock and metal. Kiss, obviously. But there was, uh, there were some, you know, for lack of a better term, bad kids, you know, uh, some bad kids that would uh, smoke cigarettes and, uh, you know, wear leather jackets in eighth grade, you know, <laughs> they, they, they smoke cigarettes and wore leather jackets when we're like all around like badass, you know, it's like, well, I heard he, he, he put someone in the hospital, you know, I heard that dude, he, he beat someone up into the hospital for making fun of Metallica. And so I just wanted to listen to all things metal because I, I don't know, I wasn't trying to like impress them or something, but I just wanted to know, I wanted to know what they, what made them tick, I guess. And so I just dove in like everything they listen to, all the bad kids, I just dove into the music that they listened to. I was like, Iron Maiden? Okay. You like Iron Maiden? You like Megadeth? You like Metallica? I'll listen to all the bad kid music. I want I want to listen to all the bad kid music. Maggots? No, my buddy Patrick. Patrick, not of the Conquest pants, but Patrick introduced me into Guar. We were on a band trip. I think I've told this story too many times. Uh, we were on a band trip concert band high school fight 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 you know remember that we were on a band trip and he was just like have you ever heard guar I'm like no he just hands me a tape i put it in my walkman ham on the bone comes on at full volume destroys my eardrums and then i just never stopped being a fan of guar from that moment on the beginning of ham on the bone at full volume you, you try to do that. Tell me you don't get into Guar. Oh, I didn't get to see Metallica until very, very recently. Miller Lite still tastes like bananas, in case you're wondering. Yeah, what is that? Why does that happen, Raymond? Why, why does that happen? Oh, we're, we're doing actually okay on time. This is my first time check of the night, and technically we should be done. But we've still got another half hour. So what I want to try to do is fit in a retro vape and fit in a liquid tasting. And I don't want to do them at the same time. I want them to be separate. So. Uh, Let's retro vape. I got an old RDA here that I want to retro vape. In fact, I'm going to do a quick search and just see. Uh, I don't remember exactly when this came out. Looks like. Two thousand seventeen. I hate that YouTube just doesn't list the date that you uploaded it. It just says five years ago. So I guess that's twenty seventeen. I guess that's twenty seventeen. I think this RDA came out in twenty seventeen, uh, and so not to spoil it, but we have an RDA to vape. Let me show you this side of it first. Does anybody recognize this? Hmm. Does anybody recognize this? Ah. Sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, that's the Vandy Vape logo. There it is. There it is. Nick Duh. Just coming in strong, getting everything right. This is the icon. RDA. My vapes. Face Meat, I just opened your package, bro. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, thoughts on Pantera give us some money tour only playing huge arenas. Ah, eh, they've earned it. 
I feel like Pantera's earned it. Pantera never got to play arenas, even in their prime. They never played anything bigger than like a House of Blues. So I think they deserve it. I think I think Phil uh, Phil's done enough for that band uh, to earn it. I think he earned it. I like them playing arenas. I've seen. I've been watching some of the live uh, concerts, like the 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 two concerts that they've done. I watched them. They sound great. Zach doesn't sound awesome. Like I feel like Zach Wild can't quite nail down that dime bag Daryl style of playing. Some of his wadidly dees don't sound quite like dime bags with dees, and some and some of his like pinch harmonics don't quite have that dime baggy feel and sound to them i think he's doing a damn good job and i think uh um the dude that they have on drums from anthrax like, whose name i cannot remember right now i think he's doing like the best drumming of his life he sounds great he's nailing it zach shred rips zach playing dime bag uh, you know i'm not gonna rip it i think he's doing the best he can it's zach wild playing Pantera songs, which is something I never thought I'd see or hear or mention, you know. So it's, a, yeah, Charlie Bennetty. Charlie Bennetty's doing a, an amazing job, I think, with the Pantera. Look, I like Black Label Society, Raymond. In fact, I got to meet Zach. I got to go on the Black Label Society tour bus. I picked up Zach's guitar by accident. I have a whole story about it. <laughs> I got a whole story about it. Went and saw Black Label Society. They were great. Icon, RDA, My Vapes, Icon, RDA. I remember rather enjoying this RDA. Look at that big adjustable airflow, that super like chamfered, like smooth edges on there. It's kind of angled in. They had it so you could do a single coil as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, blocks one off opens one up. This is an RDA from the days when if RDAs didn't do multiple things, people would get mad. People would get mad. Doesn't do a single coil? Pfft, stupid. It's like, yeah, it's a fine RDA, but it can only do dual coils. It's like if your RDA didn't do both, then it wasn't even worth it. Even though 100% of the time, a single coil in a dual coil deck with a dual coil airflow was just terrible just the worst i don't love this deck i don't know that i've ever loved this corroded deck a little bit just openings and i don't know why they didn't just close off those slots why leave them open like that i don't get it why leave them open with the little spoke why not just close them off you get two slots i guess to look different maybe there's nothing like beneficial to this there's nothing it's just for looks um what we're going to do to make up for uh having to listen to metallica is uh we're gonna dive into the duchess coils bag of mystery it's the most giant baggy of duchess coils coils I i'm thankful every day for duchess coils and i love i just love this i just love having a giant ass bag that i can pilfer through coils to find some good ones. Yeah, this will be this will be great. These will be perfect. Uh, could find something a little bit lower because we're gonna. There we go. There we go. That's the ticket. Because as I've said in the past, we're not just doing a retro topper. We're gonna set up a whole retro setup. Well, you're not me. I'm gonna vape it. <laughs> it's it's just a little corrosion. It's fine. It's no big deal. It, I'll survive. I will live. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't like use this regularly, and I would probably put it through like a sonic cleaner or really polish it up. But for our purposes today, this will be just fine, just fine. Here's the coils going on the inside. These are uh, triple twenty six gauge cores with thirty ga thirty six gauge over all kidney puncher nichrome eighty five wrap three millimeter point nine to point one one perfection perfection no murphy stop it <laughs> he steals things from my office he steals little boxes i caught him with a, a baggie of o-rings the other day he swiped a baggie of o-rings right off my desk it was like o-rings and airflow pins and he's just chewing on the plastic 
Thanks, Murphy. Thanks, buddy. Were you trying to get under the desk? You trying to get under that desk? You trying to get under that desk, boy? What you doing? Oh, you want to just play right now. We can't, we can't play right now. I'm in the middle of something. I know. I know, buddy. I know. We'll go play. He's just so pumped. Yeah, you can go under. You can go under. You're allowed. No, you just want to play. He just wants to play while I'm trying to build this. This is multitasking. But dog biting my hand. Actively biting my hand. <laughs> Sorry, Murphy. We'll play later. I promise. I know. Hi. 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 Okay. 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 Hi, buddy. Want me to massage your head? Want me to massage your head? Here, you got to get down. I got to finish. I got to finish. This freaking dog it's just melts my heart. Three millimeters. So you're going to go up there and you're going to go down here. Seems easy enough. Are you sure these are three millimeters, Duchess? I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down now. Whoops. Whoops. Yep, that's the right one. Number one, not bad. Actually, that doesn't look great. We'll fix it. Don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. There's plenty of adjusting in the such as to do. Uh, keeping in mind the new Dickie Mo rule, I do not, repeat, I do not let my leads just go flying around anymore. I used to do that. I was wrong. I should not have done that. Period. Okay. I don't want people stepping on. Oh, I don't have the right tool. Schmurphy, I have to go get the correct tool. It's in the living room for some reason, or it's in the kitchen with me. Hang on, sorry, I'll be right back. Addy Toonie. Addy Tooney, out of the kindness of his heart, sent me tools to use. This is the three millimeter tool. Sometimes I use the three millimeter tool for, you know, we'll just say nefarious purposes. <laughs> Cannabis infused purposes. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, that's, super, that's actually crazy easy to install. Crazy easy to install. We might need to pre-clip our leads on this side, but that should be not a big deal. At least need to pre-clip one of our leads. And we're gonna go with this one. Maybe like that. Just guessing, you know, I'm the king of eyeballing. I shouldn't be, but I am. I am the king of eyeballing. I'm not trying to brag right now, but that cut, I just arbitrarily looked and cut. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Did no measuring. <laughs> I'm interested to vape this. I want to see if I remember it. I want to see if I like it as much as I remember enjoying it. Save those leads. You don't want to step on them later. Okay. So, roughly installed two coils. Let's see what we're... Uh, 0 0.9. Perfect. 0 0.9 right now. We're Don't worry. We're going to be running this on a Mac. Not a Mac. I'm just kidding. It's not a Mac. But it's basically a Mac. Don't worry. We'll get there. Start with the wattage super low, I guess. 33 watts for a 0.9. That should take uh, 
five to seven minutes to glow with the button held down. But that's okay. Low wattage glowing is the best way to glow. All right, maybe not this low of a wattage. <laughs> maybe we can try at least 50 watts. There we go. Now they're glowing. Oh, nicely done, Duchess. Precise. That's some precision coiling. Perfection has been achieved. Thank you, Duchess Coils. Coming out to a point, point 0.96 right now. But I imagine once that cools down and I reset the uh, resistance, it's probably going to be a point 0.11, point 0.12. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because, in fact, let me show you this. We'll let that cool down for a second. The mod that we're putting... Yoctopus! <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty, that's an, oh, that's a pretty okay oct octopus. <laughs> the octopus always cracks me up. Okay. Bust out the cosmic coils. I still, I will. I, soon enough. I will. I promise I will, Nick. I promise I will. Um, the device that we're going to be putting this on, a little unassuming from the front. It's a wooden box mod. See that fire button right there? See that 510 right there? Does anybody remember this from 2016? You might, because it's called your mom's box mod. Ah, it's funny. You know, it, that's comedy. That's comedy. There was just one dude making these boxes, and he called them your mom's box and put a pal on it. There is a review on YouTube for this. Look, it, and it's very like, <laughs> look at the, that's a MOSFET in there. Battery tray, battery sled, very crooked, very epoxied and super glued in there. But it is, I mean, that's copper, you know, wire. So I guess it's mechanical, but the it needs a MOSFET because the MOSFET needs to protect the switch because this switch is not rated for any of the amp limits that we're putting it in through in vaping it like this. So that's why we need the little MOSFET there. MOSFET protects the switch from, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to use the E word, exploding, um, but it, the MOSFET helps protect the switch from uh, failing because of the amp load. And when a switch fails, it can fail open, which is bad, or it can fail closed, which is fine. You wouldn't even notice. Your mod would just stop working. But when it fails open... That's when uh, you get nonstop firing. You get auto firing. It can lead to a bad thing. It'll make your finger warm. Yeah. Moffs. Am I saying it wrong? Moffs fet. <laughs> Huge manatee. Am I saying it wrong? Moffs fet. You know, I would say that eyeballing is a good skill that everybody should learn. Uh, it's not a skill that I ever intended to learn. It simply happened because of laziness. I spent so many years of my life being lazy and eyeballing things that I honestly just developed a skill for it. Every picture that's hung in our house is eyeballed. Everything in our house is eyeballed. I eyeballed a projector mount. Literally. I just went outside, I looked at the screen, I kind of like found the exact center of it or where I thought it was, I made a mark, mounted the projector there, perfect, flawless. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but eyeballing, bro, eyeballing. Murphy. Murphy. My Murphy boy. What you doing, Murphy boy? He's like, you're done. Stop streaming. Oh, Murphy. Look at your fluffy fucking face. I'm gonna give you a mohawk. I'm gonna give this dog a mohawk. 
Murphy, can you get down just for right now and I promise we can play later? I promise. I promise, Murphy. I promise. This guy, this dog, you know, this guy, this dog. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you are the bossiest dog in the history of bossy dogs. My gosh. Are you just starved for attention? Can I finish my live stream, Pooch? Can I finish my live stream, buddy? Or are you just going to scratch me and bite me the whole time? It might resort to barking soon. He might just walk in here, want to play so much that he just barks at me. It's like one sudden woof, and it just startles me every time. Because most of the time, he's just a young little puppy, and so he whines. He'll see a squirrel, and he's like, <laughs> he'll see people, he's like, <laughs> I don't hear him, like, bark. So the first time I heard him, like, <laughs> like bark, I was like, oh, my God. Did you grow 20 pounds? Just getting this wicked. It's beautiful. It's a delicious thing, really. Uh, if I could wick this. Apparently, I'm bad at wicking now. Yeah, now. Yeah, now I'm bad at wicking. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a little tight. That was my bad. I should have lifted that coil up a little bit, but what are you going to do? We're committed now. Do you see how Do you see how this coil is higher and this coil is lower? That's don't do that. That's a dumb thing that you should not do. Nick says I just got a husky a husky lab back in October. She's hyper as fuck, dude. Yes, I imagine that Husky Lab is super hyper. He's a he's a golden doodle, uh, and so he's he's goldeny and he's really hyper. He's got big puppy energy, man. Big puppy energy. Um, we're putting uh, Bogan's uh, Rebel Plum Job Tobacco just because I've been missing it. I think I have like this much left, and I just want to vape it. Oh, it's a good tobacco. This is a good tobacco. Gunny has three dachshunds. I love that. I love that. What did you see 10 minutes ago? Oh, my up and down? Yeah. You probably saw that. You, you were probably shouting it in the chat, and I just didn't see it or didn't notice, and I'm sorry. You were trying to warn me, you know? You were trying to warn me, and I wasn't paying attention as per usual. But that's okay. That should only affect the flavor and performance. Like it's not it's not that big of a deal. It's only going to affect the fundamental way that it vapes. Yep, 0 .11, 0 .11. All right. So we're reading a .11 right now. We're going to put this on your mom's box. It's a dual 18650 banger. I got some new dual 18650s that we're going to put in here. Ohm Tech, Ohm Life. Now, it's parallel, so both positives go up, upward. It's been, uh, I don't think that this box mod has been used maybe even since I did the review for the Your Mom's Box mod way back in 2016. I don't know that I've used it since. What I love about the Iconic, man, get rid of tabs. Get rid of tabs. I love pushing down a top cap like the barrel on an RDA, and you don't have to worry about lining up tabs. You can just twist it and position the airflow directly in front of your coils however you want to do it. You can put it off to the side. You can hit the center. I love that. Get away from me. Tabs. So, Iconic, Let's see if this will even fire. Yeah, there we go. It's a dual parallel, so it's going to have plenty, plenty of power. This is a .11 on a dual parallel, so we don't really, I mean, we should always be aware of our ohms and our batteries, right? Always 100%. But when you run like a .11 on a dual parallel, 
eh, you're kind of in a creamy safe zone right there. You know, your amp load's being split over the batteries, so you're not really going to over discharge or overcharge or like, you know, overstress your batteries. Oh, yeah, it sounds like that. That won't go away. Maybe if I do this. Nope. Does that sound? That's just the iconic sound? I used to be able to get that sound to go away. Nope, maybe not. It, it sometimes happens when you have metal next to metal. You know, if you're choking off airflow and there's metal next to metal, it will create some turbulence or it'll create like a little sharp sound. That's the sound I'm getting from it. But you can see the, the quality of this box mod is crazy good. All the, all the fit and finish, super nice. The door always stays on. It never just accidentally slides off when you're using it. Here we go. The iconic, well, at least let me do a good hand check. The iconic on your mom's box, pow. Cheers. Vape's good. Vape's good. Tastes good. That airflow is quite smooth, quite, quite swooshy. And the mom's box mod, it's hitting. Slaps. Slaps. Flavor's good. Airflow's good. The whistle kind of goes away when you really vape it. This box mod door is just has the most play in the history of play. <laughs> That's ridiculous. One of my favorite things in all of vaping, other than the 12 milligram non-salt throat hit that I get from like a good mouth to lung, that like, <clears throat> I love that. My second favorite thing in all of vaping is taking really, really long, deep rips on an RDA. When you have that perfect balance of resistance and wattage and it's warm and flavorful and you can just take a huge, 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 long, deep rip, there's not much I enjoy more than that. And you just freaking ex exhale a weather system. It's good. It's running dry. I'm plowing through this juice. Damn, this is delightful. What a good retro vape. Dude, the icon still holds up. If anybody out there is considering an icon, it holds up. If you can track one down, maybe try Fast Tech. Oh, is that too soon? Is that too soon? Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. It's okay, Murphy, it's okay. I'm just gonna hit the thing. It's okay, Murphy. I don't know if he's ever heard a uh, smoke alarm like that before. Icon holds up. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm enjoying these Duchess coils. I'm getting a little bit of crackle from them. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, delirium. This is what happened to Fast Tech. They have closed business for good. Goodbye, Fast Tech. You provided uh, harm reduction products for probably millions of people, but because of awful Chinese regulations, no longer, no longer fast tech. And look, the, the mom's box is hidden. It's hidden like a good dual parallel should. It feels like a Titan, you know? Oh, I used to love the Titan dual parallel. Like there was a time in vaping where it's all I wanted to vape. Just give me low resistances on dual parallels, and I'm I, I love it. I'm at home. 
I love like a 0.11, 0.09. Ugh, dual parallel. It's perfect. It's it's like it's like perfect, man. Delightful. Freaking delightful. Uh, I might put this icon on something else. I have a Titan sitting around. We might uh, make an audible here. Uh, thought I did. I really thought I had a Titan. Oh, I do. Yeah. The Titan that he specially made me with the clutch door. This is actually probably more accurate of a retro vape that I would have, like, actually, actually vaped. The icon with the Titan. And here's a pro tip. On the subject of tabs in RDAs, you guys, we don't need them. We just don't need them. You can screw down your atomizer and unscrew it super easily without tabs. You just give it a little push. You take your top cap and you kind of pull it to one side, this way or this way, and that'll give you the grip to take your atomizer on and off. No problem. It's a trick I've been doing with the recoil for ages. You just push it to one side, comes cleanly off. No need for tabs. Dang, this icon is pushing the limits of this 24 millimeters on the nose. Look at that Titan. Old school. Old school. Titan hits harder than your mom's box, that's for sure. That sound. That sound, though. That sound, though. All right, you guys. Damn hell ass good retro vape. That icon, man. I didn't, I didn't necessarily have, like, high or low hopes for the icon. I'm glad it holds up. It's nice to see a, a My Vapes product hold up. I think I've enjoyed everything that My Vapes has released. It sounds like a horror movie scream. <whistles> You can mitigate it a little bit if you if you very slightly twist the airflow and make sure that you don't see any exposed interior stainless steel. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe that's just the way the icon sounds, but I'm vaping so good, I kind of don't care right now. I would have dinged that if I had been giving out banana stickers at that time. I would have dinged it. Uh, well, now that I'm over vaped, uh, I'm going to take some quick hydro and uh, let's hydrate with uh, Kent. Oh, it's been a minute. Kent, let's hydrate with Kent real quick. Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Stay hydrated, hydro homies. This is a sponsor of this stream. They have been for like years now, and I just love the shit out of this coldest water bottle. I've only had to replace the top once, but I ran that first one into the ground. The rubber came off. I was abusive to it. Abusive to it. All right, you guys. Here's the thing. It's 6.55. The last act of the stream is going to be the very random liquid tasting. As soon as I check in on the super chats, I don't think I saw any. Oh, that's right. We got a uh, we got one from uh, Vendetta Vapor says, uh, "Love the dog." Hey, Nick. Lo Thank you, Vendetta Vapor. It's Murphy. You know, he's just a he's just an actual muppet. Uh, Dirt Magnet said, hey, all, what's up? What's up, Dirt Magnet? Thank you for the resub. Appreciate that, bro. And then Connor Smith in with the super chat says, uh, you should try cloud cartel, cartel coils from the UK. Also, why do you not breeze tones your cotton bacon to align all the fibers? P.S. Have you ever tried 13 feet cotton from Amazon? It's basically 
Munji in a long rope and similar to BP Mods Pro Cotton. Oh, that's good to know. I have not tried that cotton, but if it's similar to the BP Mods Cotton, I do really like that BP Mods Cotton quite a bit. Here's the thing with the, with the uh, what, what does he call it? The bacon roll? Here's the thing with the ba Breeze Tones bacon roll. I'm just lazy. That's all it comes down to, 100%. Just lazy. It's how I became an eyeballer, you know? Laziness. Laziness creates skills like eyeballing. And uh, sometimes, so in our DAs, I never bacon roll. They just don't. I can apply the liquid directly to the coils. I don't really have to worry about wicking. Maybe sometimes in a squonk. Most of the time, I just won't do it. I do it occasionally for RDA or RTAs rather, something that is really going to rely on that wick. Like the wick is critical, but otherwise, nah. That's my sis. That's my system. That's just how I do it. All right, let's get a let's get a poll going up here, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. I've been having a lot of fun. I hope you guys have been having fun. Uh, let's get a poll. New poll. All right. Uh, so we have more juices, gnarly juice from Straya. Because we were talking about Straya, maybe that dad should have given his kids some gnarly juice. Uh, so it's all gnarly juice. And I don't even know what that is. And... Okay, I'm uh, going to leave this up for five minutes. We're going to allow additional votes because why not? Uh, the very random liquid tasting poll should be, uh, sure, nope, let's just do, oh, you, I can make it two channel points. Oh, I can make it three channel points per vote. No, let's not do that. Let's do two channel points per vote. Five minute poll. Here's the very random liquid tasting. Here's, here's what's up on the chopping block. Gnarly. It's all gnarly. It's all gnarly. Fire engine. What? What does that even mean, fire engine? Lime strobs? We got gnarly fire engine, gnarly lime strobs, and lastly, it was up last time. Maybe it'll come through this time. Gnarly's jawbreaker. Vote. Vote, vote, vote. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. You know how the song goes. Don't make me sing it. Okay, I will. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. It's funky. <laughs> it's a celebration. And I can say that because Sewer Rug isn't here. Dealey is not here. Rhett's not here. No one's here to hold me accountable. So it's a celebration. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. Vote early and vote often. Vote now. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. Okay, fine, Jake Scrapwood. You big jerk. You big wet blanket party pooper. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Jake Scrapwood. Let's go check in. Let's see what the poll, how the poll's doing. Woo! Oh, dang, Jawbreaker, dude. Jawbreaker for days. Fire engine above the lime strobs. Fire engine above the lime strobs. Fire engine's going to be back, though, because... What even is that flavor? It looks like there's a raspberry on the front, but it's called fire engine, and so that doesn't make any sense to me. The little strawberry man is on fire, though. <laughs> the little strawberry man is on fire I don't see anything beating Jawbreaker So I'm going to kind of just dive into Jawbreaker a little bit All the lime straws Wee Baby Seamus really wants that lime straws I was kind of thinking that, Tyler Maybe it's cinnamon Maybe it's raspberry cinnamon We'll get there, Seamus We'll get there Lime straws I know, did I sway the voting too much? Did I sway it too much? Did I did I promote Jawbreaker too much? I just really want Jawbreaker to win. <laughs> just really want Jawbreaker to win. 
Thank you, Raymond. Uh, thank you, Fur Fur, Ronnie, Sexy King Phil, all you guys that voted for <laughs> all you guys that voted for Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker is definitely winning. It's 85% to 14% to 1%. I think I'm just going to end the poll and we're going to call this good. We're going to call this good. Thank you, Raymond White Vapes. Very much appreciate that. Let's let's get into Jawbreaker. This could be bad. This could be terrible. Could be really, really good too. I have a feeling. Whoa. All right. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they did that, but off the knuckle, that was quite jawbreakery. Quite jawbreakery. Murphy. It tastes like a like a sugary, you know that like powdery. Uh, jawbreaker. Yeah, I don't. I can't explain it. It just tastes like it. I'm hoping it vapes like it. Wow. 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 Oh, I got you, Georgia boy. I'll get back over there. I'm sorry, bud. Really, really tastes like jawbreaker. Like really, very intensely tastes like jawbreaker. I'm hoping it vapes as good. I was kind of expecting this to just taste like hot sweetness. You know, there were a bunch of liquids that seemed to be the trend in like all of 2016, all of 2015 for like two solid years. All liquids to me just tasted like hot sweetness. It's like, what is this? Oh, it's a it's a frosted cookie, frosted strawberry, raspberry cookie, cotton candy. I'm like, oh. And then you taste it, you go, oh, that's just like super sweet. You just you just put super sweet in a bottle and then sold it. Everything. Especially remember Fresh Skater Jay's liquid? That shit tasted just like sugar. Nothing else. Just sugar. Okay. So it's going on the uh snowcap ravine right now. Or avalanche rather. It's the squonk with a uh see that? It's the nitrous. It's all juiced up. I'm going to take my first toot. If it's good, if I like it enough, it's going to go into the bottle. I have a bottle. I had a, I had a bottle. I had a bottle. Sure. I, I assure you that... Later on, if I like it, it will go into the bottle. Here, let's have a toot. Jawbreaker, go. Damn. Damn. Sorry. Spoilers. Damn. I'm going to sit with this just for a second. I'm going to play you some hot seventh, fl seventh floor tango action. I'm going to mute my mic. I'll be right back. Just going to vape this for a second. Okay, 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 okay. So here's the thing with this. I'm glad we tasted it. That's what I'll say right now. I'm glad we finally tasted the Jawbreaker. With that said, 
The jawbreaker on the knuckle, it's like jawbreaker. I don't know how they do it. It tastes exactly like a jawbreaker. Exactly like a jawbreaker. In the vape, it doesn't. It tastes like the oldest, hardest, like Bazooka Joe bubble gum that you've ever had. You know, that like weird, waxy, old, stale bubble gum flavor? That's what it tastes like in the vape. And it's bumming me out because the knuckle is so jawbreakery, it's ridiculous. And then the vape tastes like waxy old gum. You know, like baseball card gum? Yeah, baseball card gum. Bazooka Joe kind of gum. Gum that could hurt you, you know? Like you bite it and it's like, you're like, oh, is this a hard candy? Oh no, it's just really old, stale, waxy gum. That's the flavor. That's the flavor, yeah. Oh, huge manatee. Lip balm. Yes, I'm sorry that that's out there now, but it tastes like bubblegum lip balm. It tastes like stale bubblegum lip balm. Shards of gum. Hard candy gum. Um, it's not like, I don't know, it's not negative. It still retains a little bit of like the hot sweetness, jawbreaker sensation. But as soon as it popped into my head that it was bubblegum, I couldn't get it out of my head. I went, oh, shit. Fuck. It's stale bubblegum. It's just waxy ass stale bubblegum. You hear Murphy Birkin? He really wants to play. Murphy! It's not negative, but it's not something I'm going to vape. I think I saw Sexy King Phil laid claim to this bottle of liquid. If you want this bottle of liquid, Sexy King Phil, I'll send it to you. It's not unenjoyable. It's just such a weird flavor that, like, back in the day when I was eating stale, waxy bubble gum, I didn't think, oh, this is a flavor I love. I, I want to I wanna vape this flavor. I want to have more of this flavor. Give me more weird, waxy, hard Bazooka Joe bubble gum flavor. But here we are. Ah, I don't know. Could hit with someone. It's not hitting with me. I just get waxy bubble gum. I'm sorry, gnarly juice. But look, you're like three for you're like two for three right now. The last two, the cola and the green apple were the bomb.com. Jawbreaker just sadly isn't. Jawbreaker just sadly isn't. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, don't forget. <laughs> I will not forget. I'm going to be spooging my pumpkins right, right on, during Christmas break, right on Christmas. Break. Yes. Big tizzle. Holy God. Yes. This, this comment right here, frame it. Waxy vampire teeth. It's the waxy vampire teeth flavor. Oh my God. That's the waxy vampire teeth flavor. Like to a T. Big Tizzle nailed it. It is exactly that. You just blew my mind hole open, Big Tizzle. Way open. And the big like wax lips. Remember the big wax lips and the wax vampire fangs with the lips on them? That's what it tastes like. There it is. There it is. Dang. Well, what a damn good way to end the vlog with a weird ass jawbreaker wax gums fucking liquid. Yes. When you mess up a donut, it tastes like Band-Aid. I agree with that, sick boy. 2,000%. 2,000%. Yeah, they were terrible tasting, Michael. They were terrible tasting, but it, there's such like a nostalgic thing there, isn't it? You know? Some bad things or old things from nostalgia, like nostalgia can cure things. Nostalgia will save a bad flavor. Nostalgia will save a bad movie. Mos nostalgia will save a bad band, you know? Nostalgia, I've gone back and listened to old, like, old records that I used to really love, and I'm like, 
it's a good thing I'm so nostalgic about this because it is objectively not good. Nostalgia, man. It goes a long way. Goes a long way. So, hey, you guys. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for coming out. Uh, it's Thursday. It's vlog day. Like I said, this is the second to last stream of the year. We're doing a stream next Thursday, and it's going to be the the Grim Green. I know it's pretty Christmassy in here right now, but it's going to be the Grim Green you know, big uh, Christmas spectacular sort of stream. I'm having a whole mess of guests on. I'm, I'm calling in every favor to every friend that I have, and they're all going to come on the stream. We're just going to chat about the year. We're going to chat about vaping. We're going to chat about Christmas. We're going to chat, you know, if you have any questions for them, it, it's going to be a big, open, fun-ass discussion next week. I think it's going to be a really, really fun way to end the year, to sort of reflect back, to talk about what's coming up, to, to, to reminisce about Christmas and, and just enjoy, you know, the holiday season. I, I'm a huge fan of Christmas. Like, I'm just a big fan of Christmas. I, I like all of it. I, I like the food. I like the sweets. I like the, the family-ness. I like the love. I like the, the decorations. I'm just a huge fan of Christmas. So next week, Christmas special spectacular right here on Twitch. A whole mess of guests. It's going to be really fun. Tell your friends. Everybody come out. I can't wait. And then, and then I'm basically going to be off for a while. I think I'm just going to be off through the end of the year and I'll be back in January where we land on January. will probably be on Twitch. That's just how I'm feeling right now. That may change. And if anybody has any input or feedback, I'd love to hear it because I'm just as torn on it as anybody is, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I just want to make it the, the most easy that I can for the people who want to view my content. You know, I think about things like, well, when I'm watching a, a, a live stream replay on YouTube, I like to see the chat. Shit. When I put this vlog on YouTube, there's no chat. So I thought I'll put the chat on the screen, but that's annoying. So I have these like little problems that I'm trying to like get around and try to make it the easiest possible for anybody that wants to watch my content to be able to find it and watch it. And, you know, it's clear and concise. So long story short, I guess we're staying on Twitch for a little <laughs> for a little while. But uh, yeah, Twitch has the octopus. You know, Twitch does have the what you the octopus. I know. Don't don't deviate. We're building an audience here on on Twitch, and I'm really enjoying it. I've mentioned this before, but it reminds me of you know back in the day, like really early on, 2011, when I was just starting out on YouTube, and I'm like having fun and meeting people and gathering a little bit of an audience and people are subscribing and I'm going, Oh, this is so great. This is so fun. There's people that want to watch my videos and I'm like building an audience. It feels like that over here on Twitch. It feels like I get to, you know, build an audience and, and welcome new people in. And it's just good times. It's just good times. And I appreciate everybody coming over here to Twitch. Uh, it really, it really goes a long way with me. Um, Play the Dracula song. That's Meg's entire personality in, in three words, four words. Play the Dracula song. <laughs> okay, I'll wrap this up, you guys. Peace out, okay? Big love. Be excellent to each other. I love you guys. Life is hard. You know, it's real. It's a real mess. We're all just winging it, and we don't need to be picking at each other. You know, we, we should be complimenting each other and helping each other out and checking on on your friends and just saying, hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing OK. Help each other out, man. It really goes a long way. So I'll say peace out. Keep on being excellent to each other. I know you guys will. And uh, Cosmic Coils. Absolutely, Nick. We'll get there. I promise. Peace out. Big love. Be excellent to each other. And uh, vaping is going to change the world and we are going to help it. Peace.